pretty well, doing pretty well. Doing excellent. Thanks for having us. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. We are delighted to have you all. We're getting right into Lijong Tower here. We're starting off on Night Market. We do see some Reinhardt and Arissa going out for the tanks as one team is going to TP on to the point. 07 Plasma getting early onto the point here, getting some great spacing with the Reinhardt, forcing out some damage onto 2-Bit, who's on that Arisa. We're looking now at Paradise Aegis, trying to reclaim a bit of control on point, but right now 07 Plasma seems to have great control with that Symmetra May. Not dare, Paradise Aegis not daring to take any space as far as they should, but however, forcing out the BAP who goes down with his lamp as well, and is going to take advantage of that and start pushing in with her golden form, doing a lot of damage, but the Symmetra is doing it right back, and she's going to go down. However, Brickwall did trade back onto the Sim, and a Guardio kit on the Lucio actually to get two picks with that. Vulcan trading back and forth, but it looks like the Reinhardt 407 Plasma is going to take a lot of space and try to stay alive against the Sojourn, and his Lucio is going to keep him alive here. That early lamp there was a little interesting, and then I don't know how Bab died, but he got caught out. And then Agario Kid just went crazy there. Uh, we got beat online, so if they beat early here, they'll probably just win this fight straight out. Um, yeah. I expect to see a pretty early beat coming out from Agario Kid. The Pharah actually is switched over to by Hawk. Hawk and Bob's running that pharmacy right now. And Japanese once again gonna go down on the map early, but Reinhardt is charging right in and get a trade on the Magic Turtle. Two now down for Paradise Aegis. However, Paradise Aegis has taken a bit of control on the point, and that Pharah is trying to break down Ryan's shield and do a little bit of damage. And Arisa also holding her ground well in the back of the point, but the point is still in control by 07 Plasma. Once again, they call Meme getting very low on the Reinhardt, trying to keep some space. But it looks like he's going to push in a little bit farther and eventually clear out the team with the Venom by his side. Far now, just the last one standing, and she's going to go off the map. All right, well, we got three else coming up for, uh, what's the blue team's name again? <laughs> 07 Plasma. 07 Blue, okay. We got three ults into five ults probably coming up here. Uh, they just need to charge Rush, and if they trade ults correctly here, um... Or seven blast will either Ooh, the shatter in. First. Shatter really doesn't get anyone. A result is gonna come out as well as the pharmacy or far barrage gonna get two. Both Japanese in. They call me going down. However, Venom is gonna trade back onto the Arisa, but it looks like the point is gonna swap over to Paradise Aegis's control. They are still contesting with the Lucio, but the Gario Kid unfortunately gonna go down. Tubit is actually swapping over to the ball and trying to get back the point for his team. As the point has still not swapped, the Reinhardt is back and looking to get a little bit of a control on the point right now. The charge is in, looking for some damage. Japendi's down again, DJ breaks as well, and the Ryan's right off the map, and the point finally swaps over to Aegis Control. Uh, I don't know about that rush there. I think they needed it for this fight. Uh, looking at their ult charges right now. Um, 07 Blast coming in here with two ults. Both support ults coming on here, so. I will not waste this opportunity. Yeah. Oh, Japantes those. has that window up. Let's see how he uses it. Maybe getting some early space for his team. 2-Bit is on the side with the ball right now. Trying to push his team off. But 07 Plasma looks like they're pushing together as a team while an Ari on the point. However, Venom is going to get traded by Hawk as well as Japantes going down once again. Brickwall going to get a great headshot on the Sojourn. And 2-Bit is trying to maintain control, but it looks like they're going to do just fine with Hawk on that far up. Really good by the far there. Faro's got ult now. Uh, they should have popped window to get out, and they would have had to rotate out. Um, I agree. So now the 07 blast might be troubled here, winning this next fight. Yeah, so I do see that. 99 to 99 at the end. I do see this barrage coming in online for the fair again. However, Gario Kid and Javanti don't have it. Oh my Dan God! Barrage from Hawk. Excellent positioning. What a barrage! It's so far the play of the game right now. That was as as easy as it could have been for them, pretty much. Yeah, what, what do we have now? Uh, maybe Mercy, Valk, and um, uh, what is it called? Sojourn all coming up here. Mm -hmm. Once Good again, as well. the beat is going to come out for 07 Plasma. Brick Wall is going to trade. DJ breaks before the beat can go down. Brick Wall is going to unfortunately go down as well. We're looking at 07 Plasma currently holding control. Let's see if that Farah can get a little damage done. But it looks like Daycall Meme is going to get off the Kiriko. 
and try to do a little more damage, keeping his team safe. And the mines come out onto point, covering almost the entire point. And the Sojourn Venom is stuck in the corner right now. The Mercy Valve comes out in response as well as the Overcharge. Kills are being traded back and forth. A double kill for Brickwall and the res coming in on two, but it looks like Paradise Aegis has excellent control right now. And they're forcing the Lucio out of point, getting very, very low. Magic Turtle now going down. Or I'm sorry, Magic Turtle trading DJ Breaks. And the only one left is they call me, who's also going to fall. Point going back to Paradise Agents. That was a really good retake there. That aggro beat, I thought just won them the fight straight up. But it didn't. They they came back in with like a little bit of staggers, but just barely touching, and they won the point there. And they might just win the point overall here. Yeah, pretty much the only ult left we see is Venom with that overcharge on Sojourn, as well as the Kiriko ult almost online for Magic Turtle. We're at 99 into overtime. Magic Turtle gonna trade on to Japantes, but a Gario Kid gets a pick right back onto the Sojourn. Hawk as well, gonna get two again. 07 Plasma looking very desperate right now, and the Barrage is out too, killing a Gario Kid. And it just looks like they call me is trying his best to touch, but it just can't happen. Paradise Aegis taking the first point of Legion Tower. Is that a 99 to 0 right there? Pretty much, yeah. The 07 Plasma had a full 99% capture. Paradise Aegis did get the swap over finally, although the point did swap back and forth. Paradise Aegis did to pull it out and get the round win. Wow, well, good job. Are they going to run the classic Junk Sim here? We can see. Moving on to Control Center, uh, we actually see a bit of switch up here. Tubit going over to the Ramatra. However, we are going to see a similar Symmetra May comp. Brickwall now on the Symmetra May. A Hawk actually going off the Fera to May. And Magic Turtle staying on that Kiriko while Bob sticks on Lucio. As for 07 Plasma, Meme is going to stay on that Reinhardt while Venom and DJ Breaks go to Cassidy and May respectively while the Lucio and Bat come out for the team as well. Oh my god, Ramatra walled in right now. Does he live? Ramatra very nice damaged, dead. completely wiped out by that May wall. And They Call Meme is ready to do some damage. That's three now for, now for They Call Meme. And it looks like they're just going to completely wipe out the enemy team. Four kills for the Reinhardt, and that is an easy point take for 07 Plasma. Do you think Reinhardt beats Ramatra on this point? Um, this is like the classic brawl Reinhardt map. And with the Kree, the Ramatra wall, can't what a the... Oh my, what a charge. And Ramatra a wall. Ramatra getting so low again. He's just barely alive. Meme trying to finish it off, but it just doesn't happen. A support from the rest of Paradise Agents is going to keep Tubit alive. Oh, show really... He's got Shadow online. Oh, that's five. Huge Shatter. That's all of them. Fight over. That's... You got Q first. You press Q. Win the fight. Easy. Bread and butter. That is... Uh, you know, that far barrage really... Was a 5k, but that Reinhardt might rival it for play of the game. Getting right back into it though. Ults are building up for Paradise Aegis. We do see Japanti's almost at the window while Agario Kid is at almost at beat. And the team is in. The Maywall comes out. Tubit is oh. gonna go in, but he's gonna let Hawk dive because of it. However, the bat window does get forced down. Japanti's also going down by Tubit's nemesis form. They, they're trying to find the Kiriko on point, but it looks like Magic Turtle is just going to be able to TP out. Let's see how Paradise Aegis is able to stabilize this. They are chasing Venom all the way back oh, over into the room. Oh my god. And now they're on to point. Tubit back into Nemesis form, looking for damage, and the ult comes out. And it looks like the beat is going to be forced by a Gario Kid, but it might be a little too late as they're just going to go down. Meme pretty much the only one left. Japanti's finally getting back. He's going to get traded. Oh, he got one. Meme actually getting the Lucio, but a little too late as the point now swaps over to Paradise Age's control. Uh, Lucio gets back fast too, so. Yeah, not a huge loss for Paradise Aegis. They do have a lot of ults online. Pretty similar in ult charges, actually. Four coming up for 07 Plasma. That mail will be probably huge. However, Hawk will arrive when it goes out first. There's the quick ult. That's big. Yeah, Mayalt as well as the High Noon is out, as oh well God, as the Batman Station Major. Two no for Venom! Both supports! Both supports, now it's three on the 2-bit. And it looks like 07 Plasma might be able to win this fight. It looks very dire with that Fox Bay freeze coming out. Brickwall just trying to hold the point as long as possible. And Venom now with four, two from the High Noon, two from the Revolver. Just a pretty great... Fight for Venom there. Meme had a great shield oh. keeping him up. Oh, 
Then I'm getting another, actually. This ends now. They're gonna take point really fast, though. Paradise Aegis is gonna go in with the Kiriko Rush, as well as the Overcharge, but it looks like... 07 Plasma has just forced out that overcharge as well as the, that Kiriko Rush was too strong. But not to be understated, DJ Breaks did lose the Mave Blizzard there. And then they're mm. going to be very down on ult charge right now. The Mave Freeze looked really big and then Suzu just happened, so it didn't do anything. Um, yeah, we got Beat here. Beat should just win this. Aggro yep. Beat in. They call me going in, getting the Fire Strike, getting a lot of damage in there, forcing to get into the Nemesis Storm on Ramatra. Then me, I'm gonna get pushed back a little bit. Hawk actually swapped over to the Junkrat right now, getting off the May. And it looks like it might be a very big impact on this Reinhardt as they're just trying to take hold of the point but can't really do it right oh, now. No. Brick Wall getting DJ breaks, one down for 07 Plasma. And the Ramatral comes out as well as the beat. Very healthy team, two bit with two now, taking down both Reinhardt and the Cassidy. Brick Wall gonna add to that with the Baptiste kill. And it looks like Paradise Aegis is in excellent form right now. <clears throat> Once again, pushing back in. Agario Kid does have the Lucio ult and the tire's gonna go out early. Let's see if they respond with the beat. They're trying to hold it. The tire's going in. Might get three! It's three! three. Hawk gonna get three! Meme just trying to touch the point, but that they can't it. do it. Yeah, that's it. Map one going, going over to Paradise Aegis here. Excellent tire. I mean, the beat just didn't come out. They they had to do that and they didn't get it out. Hawk with that 5k play of the game coming up here. Excellent plays from Hawk on that far. Pretty much controlling Night Market as he saw fit. And look at that. An excellent ult. Insta killed all of them. Felt like. <laughs> Pretty much an insta wipe with that Mercy Pocket. Well, you know... I really liked Hawk's gameplay. They had some excellent switches over to the Junkrat, over to the Faro when things weren't working. I mean, 07 Plasma did not have a bad map. They, the, That was probably the closest map we could have had on Lijing. First point going to 99-99, but Paradise Aegis was able to pull it out in the end. What are you thinking, Dundas? What do you what do you think that 07 Plasma needs to change up right now to I, hopefully take I control again? I think they just needed to finish one fight at the end they got 99 both points there um uh old first <laughs> that that was their issue on at least the first point they had two support alts to zero maybe they thought they had some alts or something that they were going to try to respond with but i think aggro beating is a little better and you could have just windowed out of that little choke there and so they got caught out Looking at the chat, we do see, uh, you know, I'm also hoping for no shutout as well. So I will, I love to, I love to watch Overwatch matches. As we can already tell, that was an extremely close map. Um, 07 Plasma starting off strong. Unfortunately, Paradise Aegis were just able to match that momentum and bring it over to the next stage of the map. All right. It looked like Midtown. Wait, they said no, not Midtown. Going to Eichenwald, maybe? I think they're having a tough time deciding. Eichen mm. Lamau. <laughs> um, well, what's good here, dude? I mean, they're like kind of running Rhines, and then there, were, there was Ball on the first point. I know Ball is like overall stronger, but like Rhines really strong probably here too. Maybe a Sig comes out. It's not really a sniper map though. Hmm. Wonder what you're gonna do. I'm, you know, I'm. I love to see some Eichenwald. You know, another brawly map, kind of like what we just saw on Lijing Tower. Um, could see Meme stay on that Reinhardt. That 07 Plasma doing very well with that Reinhardt. I don't think they actually switched off Reinhardt the entire time. Maybe just a little bit of ball at the end to try to contest, but hopefully getting into the next map here. If you are just joining us, my name is Patate, and I have my co-caster here, Dundas. Hello, hello. <laughs> and we will be getting into the next map for the match between 07 Plasma and Paradise Aegis. 
if you're just tuning in as well, the score is one in favor of Paradise Aegis taking Li Zhang Tower early. We're slowly going to be getting into this next map here. So just, you know, as a Eichenwald aficionado, I've seen... A lot of Fera tricks on this map. Have you done this? Ooh, they might whip out the far. I didn't think about that. Maybe a swing around the right side. Could see something a little fun and a little goofy. Yeah, I guess they only ran far on the first map on Lijong, but it seemed pretty good and effective, as we saw by the 5k. Mm-hmm. Oh, All Doom? right. You saw the Doom tease there? By... <laughs> Is that 2-bit? 2-bit. Teasing the doom a little bit, maybe maybe could play a little dive. Well, we will see the I believe 07 Plasma will be starting on um defense while Paradise Aegis will however be on the offense starting off. I mean Hawk is on Aegis. They did play that Pharah. That Pharah was very effective and we see it right there. It's already coming right out with the Bobs on the Mercy. Oh, Maybe not. <laughs> Still trying to decide. Maybe a little goof. Maybe trying to throw us commentators off. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, sure. Oh, we are, we're running the Rhine. Ryan, <laughs> Lucio Babs really good with the Ryan. Uh, oh, they're running full brawl, it looks like. With the, the Cree or the Cassidy and the May. Yeah. So looking at. 07 Plasma, we see Meme going back to the Reinhardt, Venom and DJ Breaks going to the Cassidy in May, respectively. Agario Kid going onto the Lucio, and Japanti staying on that map that they know well. Tubit, however, is going to stick on that Ramatra while Brickwall goes over to the Sojourn. Hawk playing that far, we all know. Uh, Magic out, Turtle baby. on the Kiriko, and Bobs on the Mercy. The far is already doing some damage, going right over the front building, Enemy looking to here. pressure that Rhine Shield off and forcing Paradise, I'm sorry, 07 Plasma off as fast as they can. Playing this close wall here, playing inside. So, the far, so it's a hard time for the far here. Yeah. Oh! Brick wall is gonna trade it back early. It is good positioning right now for Paradise Aegis. They are up one, however, Meme is gonna trade one back, but it's just a favor of Paradise Aegis right now. And Tubin is gonna finish off Meme as the last player alive, and that is an early cap for Paradise Aegis, once again, fueled by that pharmacy. Did I miss something, or did Over they not, there. like, have Amp for, uh, when they decided to run at them? I think your mic is lagging up a little bit done this, by the way. The mic's lagging up, let me try this back. All right, five and a half minutes on the clock for Paradise Aegis. Meme switching over to the ball and getting a good slam. Already at 40% ult charge, 25 of it carrying over from the Reinhardt damage. And it looks like the gate is gonna be open. Paradise Aegis already moving onto the track of the second point. Meme trying to get a little bit of damage, but looks like the spin is just gonna be a little off the rest of the team. Hawk has that ult right now. Farah looking for the barrage, potentially the slam going in. Once again, Soldier running very low, but Suzu out, hopefully looking to survive. Magic Turtle, however, does go down. Hawk trading back onto Agario Kid, and Meme is looking for another slam. Tubit getting very low on that Ramatra, and Hawk's barrage finally comes out, getting Japantes. However, only one. Brickwall on getting the down as well. Yeah, Hawk getting another. DJ Breaks is down on the Sojourn, but. 07 Plasma isn't giving this up yet. Meme's still getting a little bit of damage in on the cart right now. And Hawk on the side looking to do some damage to the Cassidy. Venom goes down on the Cassidy once again to the Pharmacy. And that Hawk is just dealing damage, building that barrage, and doing everything that they can to just keep his team moving. Meme's Almost got lines up here. Breaks. Yeah. We here. Okay, we got four ults to... Two now because Cree or uh, Cassie just died. Yep, Venom down. Hawk still doing a lot of damage on the Farah. Two ults, actually three in favor of a Paradise Ages. Let's see what comes out first. Brickwall actually gonna get a kill without even needing it all, and they're trying to get this Lucio before he can escape away. But it looks like he's doing a good bit of wall riding on the wall. Unfortunately, they killed enough, so they didn't want to pop ults there. Mm -hmm. um, it's five ults to beat out. Four basically right now. Oh. 
The beat comes out, keeps his team alive, and it's now a chance for Paradise Ages to try to finally cap this point. But 07 Plasma isn't giving it up lightly. Hawk down. Their main damage source is out of there. Dario can try to stay alive on the wall right, Lucio. And the Kiriko Kitsune rush comes Big out. Big mine. Yeah, an excellent mine. Actually gonna kill two now for 07 Plasma. Just barely hanging on. Venom now back. We're gonna go shortly down. Neem just trying to keep his team contesting the cart. But it's just not enough, and they're gonna Paradise Ages is gonna roll right into the second point capture. It's tough. I do think uh, mines needed to be popped earlier there, when they weren't down one or two. Um, but coming up here, we got one old. We got the overclock for uh, O2 or O7, O7 blast, um, and just the Valk. So um, I think overclock should, is the better ult here, but. Valk definitely keeps everyone alive and does a lot of damage and Oh, Meme getting very low, forcing the bath lamp. Meme swapped over to the Reinhardt while we were talking. And it looks like DJ Breaks has the overcharge up on the Sojourn. Meme once again getting very low. His team desperately trying to keep them alive. And it looks like Meme is going to get stabilized. Actually giving Venom the high ground. A great position for Venom. Breaks is going to go immediately down Ooh, to the overcharge. Meme gets the kill and the Ramatrols is out. It's just lighting up. Team 07 Plasma, and it looks like it's gonna kill three. Paradise Ages is right just there. rolling in, and that's the cap for Paradise Ages. Just a complete roll of the map for Paradise Ages. I think a little under four minutes left for them on the timer, getting the full three points onto Eichenwald, and we need to see here how 07 Plasma will respond. From what I saw, I mean, it seems like Paradise Aegis took that first point cap and built the momentum they had, just completely rolling in with the higher alt charges, Hawk building that fair barrage very early to get some kills in Castle. And it looks like 07 Plasma has a very big task ahead of them if they want to be able to go to map three. Yeah, I think the, the Far Mercy was really big, so I think I either need to all shoot the Far Mercy or they need to just completely ignore the Far Mercy of like play inside and run on their team faster. Very like, true. Some very interesting comp switch ups actually happening. Yeah, Do meme going over to the Doomfist, Venom actually on the Tracer. It looks like that 07 Plasma is gonna go for a straight die ball on attack here, but it looks like Paradise Aegis is ready for it. Tubit swapping over to that Orisa. Brickwall staying on what they know best with the Sojourn. Hawk actually going to the Hanzo as um, they've lost their farm, their uh, Mercy in, in favor of the Brig. I don't know about this Brig here. Are they calling out Ball coming out maybe? That's probably Potentially it. Ball. I mean, the Brig will be big into this Doomfist. Me might have a little problem dealing with it. We're right up into the gate right now. Choke being held by Tubit on the Orisa. And the punch is in, pushing Tubit back, getting a little space for the team. The Doomfish punch is not gonna get fully charged. And Meme is gonna be forced back a little bit, getting killed up by the Kiriko and Mercy. The Spear is out, giving free reign for Meme to go in. And Venom gonna kill off Hawk in early pick 407 Plasma. And it looks like they're gonna get a lot of space here. The punch comes in, just getting speared as well, but it looks like they're gonna get the knockback off. And the big punch is in, forcing the free, getting very low. And it looks like DJ Breaks is gonna finish off that damage. 07 Plasma just rolling in here with their dive, and it's gonna be a quick full cap on first point for 07 Plasma. Very similar to what we just saw from Paradise Aegis. I mean, I thought that was spectacular. Maybe should they, they should run this Doom a little bit more. Yeah. Um, because they made full swaps. Uh, Aegis has made almost a full team swap. The supports say the same, but Monkey, Reaper, Freak, yeah, uh, Cassidy out yeah. now. Yeah, oh, Hawk actually trading over. Kiriko getting low. Meme gonna get that full charge punch and just barely escape off to the castle. Team chasing him, but the Mega does go off and Meme is gonna be able to retreat to safely. The Monkey now looking for a bit of damage. Jumping right back up the castle and forcing the punch cancel, but Meme is after the defending team right now and the Doomfist ult is out. It's right onto the center of the team. Gets Hawk very low. But Brig is just going to keep their team alive right now. However, Brickwall finally is out of there. Yeah. What, the cart is still rolling for 07. Plasma has not been stopped yet. However, Hawk going to put a little damper on that as Venom now goes down and does a lot of damage to Meme. 
Meme re-engaging with the punch. Now 2-bit looking for a little bit of Winston damage. Trying to hold the card right now. Hawk has that high noon up. And it seems like there are three ults online for 07 Plasma. Let's see what comes out first. And the Echo and the Kitsune Rush are both going to come out. Winston getting copied. And that Primal is going to go up very fast for DJ Breaks. Let's see if it goes out early. And Hawk ulting up from the backline to get some damage. But it just doesn't matter. And Hawk is in no man's land right now. Looking to try to get anyone. But Venom going to finish him off with the help of Meme. Both teams looking at a 4v5 right now in favor of 07 Plasma. The Brig Rally comes out to try to keep the team alive in favor of Hawk being down. And it looks like they're doing a good job sustaining it right now. Valk is out from Japan. He's looking for some damage. Meme in a very tough spot. But that Valk is just going to keep them alive incredibly well right now. Forcing the Reaper cancel on the TP. There's no Reaper all for Brick Wall now. It looks like the team's going to be safe in the back line for a little bit longer. And the team is finally going to retreat as Hawk and Tube get kills or on both Echo and Mercy. But they're still confirming ults. Venom is going in. Brickwall now gonna trade onto the Kiriko and finally Meme is gonna leave there. That was a really good fight. They took like a whole minute off the clock, only popped a couple ults they needed to, and then charged like 30% of the ults that they popped. Uh, coming up here, we got uh, Nano Reaper coming up and uh, against that's gonna be Doom Alt. And they're now mirroring the Reaper. Uh, maybe a curi ult at 57% here, but right, probably not. It's probably going to be Nano Reaper versus just a Doom ult. Yeah, getting right back into it, I expect. Maybe just a Reaper ult. They don't have a, bun a bunch to contest it, if anything. The bell might wait for the bell to go out from a Gario Kid on that Kiriko. They're trying to find the Reaper. There it is! It's not going to get anything, really, right now. And the punch is in, trying to kill him, but he fades out. Meme is going to go after him, trying to get the kill, but the TP is just too quick. And he's actually oh, going to back for it. They're probably going to Nano Winston here. They got the carry all up for uh, 07 now. Uh, carry... Just Reaper walk forward, maybe? Maybe that's the idea? Potentially try to get a lot of damage on... 2 2 bit. 2 bit doesn't have primal right now. Might need the help from the Brigand on a brick wall getting very low. It's 1159 right now. Yeah, 1159, but it doesn't matter. It's 1201. We missed the we missed the clock and Hawk is down. Jupus is in the primal and is well in the back line. Or I'm sorry, not the primal, the nano monkey in the back line. And the bomb is all as well. It's gonna get magic turtle. Teams both trading back and forth, and it looks like right now 07 Plasma has a bit of the lead with DJ Breaks now finishing off to it, but the cart is not going anywhere. It hasn't been moved. Agario Kid with the Kitsune ult, and it looks like things are going to get stabilized, and Paradise Age is going to back out just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that zoning rush made them back off there. Uh, they could have maybe saved it, but that's okay. They got Nano, Nano Reaper coming up here uh, against a uh, high noon... Uh, uh, High Noon Brig Rally here. Mm -hmm. Going right back into it. Brig getting anti and the High Noon is out on the left side. And it gets Venom down. One down now for 07 Plasma. However, the Monkey is on the back line getting sustained by the Primal. DJ Breaks, however, gonna get that Reaper ult out. It's gonna get Hawk down. DJ Breaks just trying to do a little bit of damage and forced to fade out. Meme also in the back line getting healed up by the Kiriko and doing a great job staying alive. Breaks finally gonna trade back on the Reaper, get very low doing so, but Kiriko, Agario can actually hold keep his team alive incredibly well. Meme finally goes down, but DJ Breaks is right there to trade it back. This Ana is not getting punished. The team is keeping the Ana alive and it's just a great spot for 07 Plaza right now. Tracer just trying to do something, but it looks like Agario Kid is just keeping it alive. Venom now down to 407 Plasma. Reaper trying to keep the team potentially taking this point. Looks like the Doomfist is finally back. The Doomfist is, and the Reaper also comes out, and the sleep is out. It's keeping 07 Plasma still alive here. Japan, he's just staying alive on the Oh no! Oh, oh Beam is off the map! Beam is off the map! But it's Venom's going crazy! Two for Venom, the bomb as well, and it looks like they need to go back to point. Venom is getting very low, forcing the recall out from the Hawk on the Tracer. Diva getting also low as well. Both of the teams trying to hang on. We're now into overtime. Agario Kid gets the Tracer. And it's incredible. The There's a rally. They slept the rallies out. It's crazy right now. Both teams are fighting for their lives. Both supports are still alive, but Agario Kid finally goes down. The Nano Doom! Nano out, Meme is getting a lot of kills right now. Two down, the Divas slept, and as well as Bob's going down. 
This auto is not getting punished in the back line. The panties just keeping com complete control of the map right now. Enemy in sight. They can't do anything. The heals are just too strong for 07 Plasma. And Paracus Aegis is trying and trying and trying to contest this, but it looks like it's finally going to go to 07 Plasma. I got one, though. Fox head, though. There it is. There All right, we got a Doom all. We got a Pulse oh Bomb God. coming up for 07. Oh, Diva Bomb's coming up with a Pulse Bomb as well for Aegis. Um, no support alts probably this fight. So we'll see what happens. Could be any, anybody's anybody's point here. Mm -hmm. The Tracer is looking to do something big. Hawk is trying to get an early pick here. Shut down this fight. Get us closer to last fight territory. Meme has the Doom Fist ult. And he's looking to do a little bit of damage on the front line. The Diva getting pushed out. Brig just avoiding the punch, but it doesn't matter. DJ Breaks is going to follow up with the kill, as well as Sojo going down and the carry getting punched. Three now down for Paradise Aegis, and 07 Plasma are just rolling into this point right now. Tracer on the back line. Hawk way in the back, and the Diva Bomb is out. Let's see if it gets anyone. It doesn't. And they're also able to get back into Mech. Venom has the Tracer ult as well as Magic Turtle almost being up on the Kitsune Rush. Let's see what gets popped first. The Gario Kid as well. There's the Kitsune Rush forcing Paradise Aegis. And the Reaper getting very low, forcing the Doomfist Punch to get charged up. And two now punched. Two bit get a trade on to a Gario Kid down. Down now. 07 Plasma just doesn't have the heals that they need right now. And both healers are down, but the Reaper ult gets two both supports down as well for Paradise Aegis. It's now a 3v3. Both teams absolutely fighting for this point control. But two are now going to go down for 07 Plasma. And Paradise Aegis are going to clear him out. And that's going to be it. That was so close right there. The There, there wasn't really any appeal for the D.Va. The D.Va just assassinated both of uh, 07's back line. Um, I mean... I They did trade the other two supports, but... Uh, Aegis had respawn advantage, so I don't think that was the best option. Um, I guess it was to maybe force the D.Va to also peel, but yeah, it was such a close fight there. Couldn't hold down the end, unfortunately, for 07. Play of the game going over to 2-bit, we just saw on the Ramatra ult, clearing out that last point and being very instrumental in keeping the team stabilized on that full push. That was... You know, Paradise Aegis had a great push into that. They, like, we almost four minutes on the clock. But 07 Plasma did not lose momentum. They just barely weren't able to eke out the full capture. And we are now 2-0 in favor of Paradise Aegis. All right, what do we have Jeez. next? Um, payload? Or push, Most likely Escort, yeah. I mean, that... That map took a lot out of me. That fight on second point nearly made me <laughs> made, me, made me run out of yeah, breath. It was like Jeez. a two and a half minute fight, and you just you nailed it. You got everything there. And we maybe see a reverse sweep. Is it possible? Going to Could circuit sniper oh. map. Will it be circuit? Let's see. I don't think they the other team has chosen a map actually. Oh seven plasma doing a little bit of time to decide what they wanna pick Ten out. Minute, here. Half. Oh, we're on oh. half time. Oh okay. my bad. Um we'll, are we gonna take a little half time break? know when we're unmuted all right well with that i think we are gonna go to a 10 minute halftime now um right now we do see paradise ages up 2-0 and we will be turning to an escort map shortly oh my god
All right. Welcome back, everyone. If you are just joining us, we are two maps in, two maps down, I'm sorry, into this match between 07 Plasma and Paradise Aegis. I am your main caster here, Patates, and I have my co-caster as well, Dundas. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Uh, getting right into this, uh, looks like we're running the full the full sniper comp that's pretty common on this map with the uh, Sig Widow Hanzo, uh, Zenyatta Bap on one side, and then Sig Widow Hanzo looking like an Ana or a Zen, and then a Kiriko. Yep. If you are just tuning in, we are the match is currently 2-0 in favor of Paradise Aegis. O7 Plasma looking to extend us to a four, fourth map, and we are going to be playing Circuit Royale here. Starting right off, both Stop teams looking very similar except for the supports. Both teams running a Sigma, Widowmaker, and a Hanzo. However, the supports are a bit different. 07 Plasma opting for the Zenyatta and Baptiste, while Paradise Aegis is opting for the Ana and Kiriko. Sigma Shield is going to go out. It's going to go down as well as the Eat from the Sigma on the high ground. Um, actually, we did see a switch up in the tank for 07 Plasma. Um, Key going to come in on that tank spot for them and now both supports getting very low from some sniper shots on paradise Aegis side but they're going to heal each other back up and it looks like 07 plasma is pretty much rolling into the halfway point of this first point almost getting under the bridge now and it looks like key is going to try to get a little bit of damage below and hawk actually going to trade on a dj breaks now getting two down both the Zenyatta and the Hanzo falling, and the Eat comes out from Kigman Swag and trying to get some damage. The excretion blocks the Eat from 2-Bit, and we'll see how it works here. Venom now training back on the brick wall, and it looks like they're getting very close to capping this point. And this, the contest is going to come in, trying to get some damage on Hawk. The Rock misses from 2-Bit, and the shield is out for Keek, as well as the Bap uh, Lamp trying to keep Keek's contest safe on the cart. Finally, it goes down, and it looks like... I don't know about the Ana on the left here, do they? Ana's hiding. Oh, they know now. <laughs> she's in a dangerous spot. <laughs> and it looks oh, like she's, she's just running out. She's, no one can hit her. Oh my God. She gets the Hanzo! <laughs> Oh, seven flat looking to advance here. It, I don't. I just. I don't know. The Ana is still alive. Two bit. I'm, I'm sorry. Paradise Ages looking to advance here, and the anti comes out on the Keeg on that Sigma, still holding it down a bit. If they window like now, they might win though. Yeah, the window could work well for Japantis here. It's not coming out yet. Tubit has the Zenyatta just for on him. There it is. The lamp and the major south ship. Tube getting absolutely obliterated. Brick wall can trade back on Venom. Hawk as well, no one's on the car right now, my cap point 18! GG Breaks is contesting, getting some kills, both teams training back and forth, and Gario can get a finish off, Bob's on the cart, as well as another for Widow, it's just Hanzo, and it's getting a trade in 10 Hawks cap and 8 They capped? They capped? I can't believe it. Stay near the immortality field. Alright, well. <laughs> we got four alts, um, to four alts coming up here. Uh, both support alts on the side of Aegis, though. Um, we got Lift Dragon. 
Can be big though on the side of uh, 07. The Widow Sights does come out. Paradise Aegis is gonna have a little more vision and actually gonna go for the jump shot but miss it. Venom now matching the Widow Sights and the Sigma Flux comes out. The Rock just misses and gets the Kiriko, but Kiriko get a bell and keep herself alive. Agari Kid now gonna get the kill on Hawks. And it looks like 07 Plasma is gonna regress. DJ Breaks going down. Both Widows trying to get some damage. Brickwall gonna get one, but also gets traded back. And now Japanti's lamp is gonna go down. And it looks like Paradise Aegis is gonna have a clean push into this second point here. Yeah, I mean, they didn't wait for Dragon. If they would wait for Lift Dragon there, that combo might have gotten like three. Oh, they only got one other combo. Um, and now you got Zen Alt, which they had while well, first point was still not capped, so... Uh, oh, the rock! The maybe. rock! Oh, Two minutes of immediately capped, but they're not contesting! They didn't contest! This one is anti's is crazy, actually. 07 Plasma just getting forced out. They canceled two bit Sigma ult, but it just, they couldn't even contest. Brickwall now getting killed by that Widow on the bottom right. I'm sorry, Brickwall getting the kill from the bottom right. And it looks like both Sigmas are battling back and forth. He gonna go down low, but the Transcendence comes out to keep him alive. Let's see how they regress here. And the Hanzo comes out. DJ Breaks nice getting try. down and such, and the Nano as well. It looks like he is just getting forced back and back by two bit. And they're finally gonna go down. Another one fight for Paradise Aegis. We got Window Dragon coming up against uh, basically no alt. So 07 should be able to take this fight here with a good window. Um, and I don't even know if they need to use Dragon. They can save Dragon for lift if they want. If it's a good window. Yeah, getting right back into it. We have a little over three minutes on the clock left for Paradise Ooh. Aegis. The BAP window comes out, but the anti is great. Lamp being forced out because of it. Tubit getting a lot of damage, and two are now down from Venom. Venom just tearing up the team. Ana also in stuck in that room, and Venom getting a three with that tracer. DJ Breaks getting the fourth and completing the fight win. 407 Plasma, a much needed fight win in this position. Ooh, oh, Agario. Agario kid with a nice Zenyatta headshot there with the Discord as well. Alright, we do have Lift Dragon. Let's see if they Lift Dragon this time. Uh, Pulse Bomb also could be useful with the Lift. Mm -hmm. 07 um, Plasma does have good ults right now. However, 2-Bit and Brickwall both have ults and actually get a trade Jibanti very early. 2-Bit now getting very aggressive on Agario Kid. Agario Kid actually in a very dangerous spot, but it looks like he is gonna try to keep it alive. Big. And the calm magic turtle goes down from Venom Pulse Bomb. And Venom actually gets two now. Venom is having themselves a third point right now. However, finally goes out and the flux actually comes out. Got two with it. Getting flux. Here's getting low as well. And he gonna get two with that. Agarium kid a little dangerous spot. Discording the Sigma and the E comes out and the rock nice matches rock. it. The shield doesn't get off though. The Rock matching onto Japan. Japan is getting very low, but being healed by Gario Kid. Geek still on the sideline here. And the Discord is stuck on the 2 bit, looking to try to finish him off. Hawk actually gets some handies. And Brickwall, oh, both snipers getting some damage in and killing the supports for 07 Plasma, forcing Keeg way, way out. And finally going down, actually. Great position for Paradise Aegis, rolling the cart into this last point here, getting very, very close. We're just under a minute 30 now. DJ Breaks and Agario can both have their alts. DJ Breaks actually training to Hawks, but Magic Turtle gonna get that kill back. 4v4 right now. Sigma finally coming out of spawn. And the Widow is doing a lot of damage from that top left high ground. Trying to force him off, but Brickwall is just in a great spot. And the Sigma getting low, forcing out the BAP Matrix. And the Hanzo Dragons are crossing right now, but it looks like DJ Breaks is gonna get a little more power out of his. And 07 Plasma is gonna be able to stabilize this fight. Does Magic Turtle get out here? Oh, the boot? Nah. Yeah, not gonna happen. Venom once again on that trace, we're getting some great picks. Gario Kid still has his trans. He's only That's used right, one and could have first another at this point, I would think. Mm -hmm. uh, probably gonna trans the lift if you can. The Sig Alt. Uh, and Magic Turtle's coming up on a rally here, but uh, the two support, support alt should be able to win this fight. 30 seconds, this is the last fight. 
Yeah, this is pretty much last fight. The Hanzo and Zinyana are actually in a great spot taking this high ground right now. They do have to be a little dangerous, but the Guardian can, can play a little aggressive with that transcendence up now. Kubit has the Sigma Flux. I'm gonna see an instant window here. Yeah, let's see where this window comes out. Both support all is up for 07 Plasma, and it looks like the Rock is gonna be blocked from Keeg. The Eat also coming out, getting a lot of shield on there, and there's the window, but it doesn't matter. Keeg goes down a little too early. Japandi's also gonna go down, and Guardian kid getting one. But the Transcendence is not going to come out, and it looks like it will have to come out for the contest here. Both Hans is fighting on high ground, the cart slowly rolling into point as Brig rallies. The Transcendence comes out, contesting part. Uh, DJ breaks on the high ground, but staying sustained by the Kiriko and, Tra and Zenyatta. The Tracer ult is just a complete whiff, and the Sigma Flux comes out, getting two. Let's see if they're able to sustain the nice bell. bell comes Timing. out, and it's keeping the team alive. But Garu can gets one, but also going to get traded back. The Sigma Flux is getting Ooh, the three. Lift three. Two kills, oh my three kills god! He up the 4k! Wow. What a lift there. Saving saving the full cap. Score. Zero to two. Yeah, 07 Plasma, a great last hold. I mean, they had a bit, little bit of a rough time holding that Flux. Actually pretty incredible to keep them in it. It gets three and then Keek finishes off the fourth with the melee. We're gonna um, see similar wait. comps here. Uh, yeah. Sigs are probably both gonna come out on both sides again. Um, Widows to start probably, uh, and then probably the swap to the tracer again yeah. from uh, Venom because the tracer is going, it was going really well. I think yeah, Venom. Maybe just start on tra well, start on Widow and then swap pretty quick. Yeah. So similar comps for the teams. Key sticking on that Sigma as well as Two Bit staying on the Sigma. They both know. Venom actually get to get off the tracer for a bit and go back to the Widow, which is matched by Brick Wall. Surprisingly, we actually see DJ Breaks playing the Sim. Let's see how this impacts the sniper comp that the uh, that Paradise Aegis are running. Hawk is going to stick on that Hanzo. Um, actually, Magic Turtle and Bob's both going to stick on the Kiriko and Brig as well. And Agario and Japan is going to play what they know with Zen and Bap, respectively. All right, let's see what 07 Plasma can do with this push. The Hanzo actually does finally get swapped over too, and it looks like a very close, pretty much mirror comp for both the tanks and DPS. However, the supports might make a difference here. Sigma already out early. Both Sigmas breaking down their shields, doing a bit of damage. Rock is still up for both of them. The, uh, Key getting very low and pushing up onto these stairs. Hanzo getting the sh scatter out and looking for some damage. The E finally comes out and the rock matches it. No shield for 2-bit. And it looks like he's going to have great positioning on the high ground. Forcing them out. Sees the Widow trying to force them off. And it looks like another rock is going to get blocked by... Um, can you get two bit trying to maintain this high ground, but it looks like the team is gone. And the Discord is on. Another rock blocks that shield. Both teams fighting it back. DJ Breaks finally gets the kill on the brick wall. One down now for Paradise Aegis. And Tubit is going to be the next. However, Hawk going to get the kill on a DJ Breaks. Now two also getting a Gario kid. Three. That's three for the Hanzo. And the forcing the E down on the Sigma. But it looks like Sigma has great positioning. Going to take down Magic Turtle, hopefully. And it does happen. Brig finally returning back. The Rock trying to hit a Hawk. But it looks like the Hawk team is now back to sustain him. The Sigma slowly get her recover here and get down to this point all right the six come back here oh we got hanzo arrow or a hanzo dragon coming up on the side of uh aegis uh but we got lift on the side of 07 so um, and there's the flux. Also, the Big flux, flux looks like Early it's one. Flux. He's going right into the Hanzo dragon, and it looks like he is getting very, very low. Still has the shield and the eat up. Brick wall gonna trade on to Venom. DJ breaks, however, forcing the tank down for Paradise Agent. And Keek is rolling into this point. No two bit means absolute domination from Keek. And it looks like a first point capture for 07 Plasma. Two bit going down early there was really tough. Now, considering it watched two is only one tank. A threat emerges. Um, still got a lift coming up here on the side of Aegis. Uh, with walls and a uh, rush. Maybe a rally. So possibly four alts in this next fight. Um, coming up against uh, only three on the Ooh, side of Ooh, keep going down very Ooh, early. Uh, they, don't, they don't need to pop anything now. Yeah, Tubit is just going to roll straight on in. A great rock from Tubit to force 
no shield from his E, and it actually is just gonna roll right in, taking out the um, lamp from Baptiste with the rock. And Paradise Age just is gonna take a little bit more control on this ramp now. The rock actually oh cancels the E, keep getting very low, but the team is there to sustain them. Let's see how this works. The, the scatter coming out, forcing the shield off for the red team Sigma. The flux comes out. It's it just whiffed. Another rock, but it's finally blocked by Keek's shield. Keek kind of get forced, getting forced in this left room. It's a little dangerous. It's But Ooh. DJ Breaks is going to break through with something. The rock comes out, misses on the tube. Tube it now with the Discord from the Zinniata getting forced way, way back by Keek. And the Katsune Rush matches it. The Transcendence, however, will keep the team alive for now. Rally is now up. Hawk is one of the Dragon. Oh, Tuba Dragon getting very low from DJ Breaks. Hondo Dragon. And the rock also coming in, forcing the Bap Lamp out. Both teams fighting. Magic Turtle actually getting DJ breaks down. Magic Turtle on the flank. Japan is getting low, oh, that was but big. gets the kill on to Brig. Both teams fighting and fighting. Bap is still alive, keeping Keeg alive. What? And the Flux also comes out. It's gonna get just the Sigma, it looks like. And it's gonna slam down, but it's just not enough damage to do anything. And Brickwall finally gonna get Japan down on the Bap. And it looks like another fight win for Paradise Agents. The barrier cannot withstand much more. Really good here. Um, O7's got no ults here. They gotta like dry fight this. Try to pop. Uh, see if they can get lift and rally out here. Um, and I would say that's a win fight if they get those two ults out. If they only get one out, it's like okay. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe they don't need to. Maybe they just win it. Yeah, Venom getting that nice pick on the brick wall, but nice the rally rock. comes out. Rock being forced out by both teams. One a little. Oh, they got both out. There is the lift and four up. And it's gonna be three now down for 07 Plasma. It's just another fight win for Paradise Agents. Venom trying to stay alive, but another rock is gonna finish the job. And Keeg is just retreating as far as they can back to spawn. Hey, Venom winning that Widow 1v1 one, uh, made them have to pop both alts there to win that fight. Uh, coming up, we got a uh, Kiri ult on the side of uh, Aegis. Um, and a dragon could just win them the fight because they're still only at 50 percent over everyone emerges. on the side oh i got a window at 70 on the side of 07. yeah two ults now for paradise ages both the hanzo dragon as well as the kiriko katsune rush no ults currently online for 07 plasma but they are building very close brick wall is gonna get the kill onto agario kid and it looks like a great spot for the red team to be in and just looking to throw out some damage keep trying to take a little position get some damage down onto those healers behind me behind the pillar but it looks like the 07 plasma team is forced to retreat and venom also forced way back to statue brick wall taking advantage of that and getting this position on the high ground here and the widow alt comes out getting some sights onto the enemy team both signals trading back and forth Keeg actually pretty alone, but the flux, or I'm sorry, the lift finally comes out, and it's gonna get the Kiriko, but the bell is forced out, and Magic Turtle is gonna stay alive right now. Hawk is playing the front line, and keeping some damage on the Keeg, and the Widow ult is gonna come out in response from Venom, a Garu can enter, and he pulls out the ult, but Venom get it, get it, the kill on Brick Wall, but Venom gonna get traded back shortly after from 2-bit, 2 now down, for Paradise Ages. Let's see if 07 Paradise is a, oh, I'm sorry, 07 Plasma, is oh my, the lifting. Yeah, two lift, but it's trans. Oh, the trans. Comes yeah, out. Okay. Keeg is just fighting the brig right now. Misses the rock. Bombs is staying alive. But Venom finally going to get back to do some damage. Two bit getting very low with the Discord orb on him. Forcing the eat out. Getting a little bit of shielding. Actually, the trade on a DG break for the guard could get a finish off the job. They need to roll into the Oh, Venom got Enemy there. Yeah, Venom down. I mean... It's it's anyone's fight right now. They could cap this hawk actually getting a lot of damage onto the cart. Let's see if the Zenyana gets picked, but it looks like he is gonna keep them alive now. Brickwell going for the jump shot misses. Me rally versus dragon here basically. Oh, oh Venom dead Venom, again. Venom down again. Hasn't been in a fight for at least 30 seconds now. Dragon? And the dragon's out. Let's see who it gets. Does it get the brick? No, brick forces off. And the rock comes out too, but actually getting one as well as brick wall. Two now down for 07 Plasma. The rally comes out in response. Brick wall getting another off of 07 Plasma. It looks like Paradise Ages is going to roll into this and win the map and the match. A dragon looked good. They cut the SIG off, but they could not kill the SIG in time. He just, he had suck up. Had a uh, uh, it was gravitational. No, Flux's lift. Uh, had the thing where he eats all the damage, 
and didn't die. And the sub game the game. Good. Play the game to tube it here. Actually, the I believe 3k off the Sigma Flux. Actually, trying to trying to finish off this kill and eventually gets it with the Sigma Rock. Good games by both teams, though. And that, yeah, that's going to be the 3-0 in favor of Paradise Aegis. A clean sweep for them. However, both teams fought extremely well. 07 Plasma having great fights and great control on every map, but they just weren't able to finish it off and weren't able to take any maps back from them. If you are just joining us, please don't go away. The match is over. However, we will be jumping over right to our 9 o'clock match. Um, we will see ITHF versus the Wave Riders. If you don't know what ITHF stands for, it, it stands for It's the Healer's Fault. So we'll see if that's the true case coming up here.
All right. Welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, we just had, saw an excellent match between 07 Plasma and Paradise Aegis. Paradise Aegis taking the map 3-0. And with that, we want to award the player of the match. Dundas, would you like to do the honors? Yeah, player of the match, we've decided, is Hawk. Um, Sparrow was crazy, and his Hanzo couldn't miss. Mm-hmm. Excellent damage for Paradise Aegis. They're keeping a ton of control on that far off for Lee Junk Tower. And there's the Golden Hammer. Make sure they get the Golden Hammer. <laughs> Anyways, we're going right into the second match of the night. If you're just joining us, I am the play by play caster, Potates, and I have with me here my color commentator, Dundas. Yeah, hello. I, I may or may not need an invite to the game still. <laughs> I will do so right now. Anyways, so we are now going to be watching ITHF or It's the Healer's Fault ver versus Wave Riders going right into Lijong Tower. We're starting once again off in Night Market now. We see ITH. We see ITHF. We see ITHF running the Reinhardt as well as the May. The Symmetra also going in, looking from a TP. Actually, both teams looking like they're going to TP. The Lucio and Bap going out for ITHF, while the Wave Riders also are going to run a very similar team. However, running that Cassidy instead of the May. The teams are both on point now, fighting and brawling. The May wall is up. Reinhardt both charging, both getting canceled. And it looks like J Dub is just into the back line of Wave Riders, and they're just getting absolutely obliterated now by that Symmetra and Lucio. And it looks like a clean fight win for ITHF. Ooh, look at this Sim's old charge. The Sim got the turret down um, so fast compared to the other Sim, the one that won the fight. Uh, I mean, and the, the Sim turret just killed the other Sim turrets when they were placed. Mm -hmm. And now uh, Sim's got 60 ult. Coming into the next fight here. Oh, another Pharah actually coming out. Um, Sharketeer swapping over to that Pharah now, looking to do a little bit from far away as the other team is running the base Symmetra and the team is rushing right in the Symmetra down but Jet trades it back both Symmetras down for the team Reinhardt swinging on each other trying to kill each other Jet trying to charge in and J-Dub actually gonna get another kill onto motion and Jet really can't do much now to keep the team alive oh, and Sharketeer melted by those turrets mm -hmm. Sharketeer also gonna go down it looks like another fight win in favor of ITHF so we got big windows. Well, we got like five balls coming up here on on the blue team side here. Um, and only call it four on the red team side. The symmetric turrets are set up for ITHF on the point, and the shatter comes in. The TV tries, but it's big wall. Old shatter blocked. The main blocks the old shatter and the freeze also going in no team and shark here gets one but the symmetric turns are just gonna melt them green off the map it's mayhem lucio also gonna boop the map and it looks like another fight with pride thm what a chaotic fight it was eight alts in total that fight i don't know i haven't seen a more chaotic fight tonight yet um still got the sim wall up though for blue um and bat window coming up for red i mean ith Jada went for the shatter, but Admiral blocked it off. They couldn't do anything about it. Wait, was that a team block? Yeah, that was a team block. And Jet also got their shatter blocked by the Reinhardt. They're playing on the coast now, looking for some damage. Admiral gonna actually kill Weasels right now. And the window also gonna come up with the Symmetra wall. Gonna do a great job at blocking damage. And they can't even touch. No way. Honestly, the complete opposite of what we saw last match. I mean, last match we saw 99 to 99 this time we see a complete 100 0 sweep yeah last match was the closest 3 0 i've seen in a long time starkfield <laughs> actually calling it out for their team the mega charlie niner you know when you got a sim wall like that i don't know if you necessarily call it a mega charlie niner, but it was a tough position for wave riders to be in there's a hog coming out here yeah jetta actually wave riders Trying to swap it up, the pharmacy gonna come out, which is gonna be great into this May Sim, but ITHF did do a great job at holding the point last time. The TP is gonna come out, and it looks like Wave Riders is gonna give that point. Yeah, they're just gonna let that point be taken, and they're not even gonna combat it. 
Reinhardt already fire striking. He sees the Sojourn on the side, and that pharmacy is already flanking, looking for some damage. Playing the back of ITHF, playing the back of point right now, and Shark Tier just throwing some shots through the window. The hog hook comes out, and they're forced right to the hog, getting very low, very low, doing a lot of damage. Jet just barely staying alive, but it's gonna go it finally don't go down. But Lizal's oh actually my. two full support now down for ITHF, and the ride trying to charge and kill the Sojourn, but Lizal's. Actually gonna get three and the res on the hog. Hog never died. Smile. Point captured. Oh, oh Admiral just taking taking their money and running. I think that was on purpose. Yes. <laughs> ITHF did get five percent of the point, but not too much as Wave Riders finally gonna take over. Actually They're gonna have far old here, by the way. Yeah. Oh Raj, right, they're twenty five on everything else. Maybe BAP window at fifty, but yeah, we need to Big barrage here, fight's over. Yeah, the Echo Mercy actually to come out to now combat this Enemy pharmacy, attack. but that far trying to move the Baptiste off the map with her E, but it doesn't look like it's mattering. Edinburgh going onto the side, looking to dive green on the Mercy. Far doing a lot of damage, both in a dog fight right now. The air shot comes in, Admiral being forced out and onto the Mega Lizo is also trying to pressure them off, but Admiral going right back in, and the barrage finally comes out, gets Big two, three. Three from Sharkus here. You know, blue this next fight is gonna have window, um, and that's probably it. Uh, where red's coming out with four alts probably coming up. This hog should be able to charge alt in time. Uh, rush hog maybe. Yeah. If they get hog in time. I would like to see the uh, what do they call that? Heaven's gun or something? That yeah, combo. something like that. Yeah. Well, the Echo Mercy once again in a dogfight. Jet actually hooking Cassidy straight <laughs> off. <laughs> And that's just a great spot for Wave Riders to be in. Almost going to over three quarters of the point now. Admiral staying on the side of the tower. Looking to do some damage. Sharketeer just holding position. Jet looking for another hook, but finally blocked off. No one going to the drink this time. He's always trying to help this dogfight happen. And Mercy getting very low. The overcharge comes out and finishes Mercy's off dead. with the headshot. The Kiriko continuing rush as well as Jet. And the ult is Heaven's out finally. Gun. Heaven's gun. There it is. And it looks like it's a point. Four wave riders, they just completely wipe IT jump a team kill even. And that's what a difference one back one stage could make. The blue team couldn't get alts fast enough. They swap comms at like forty percent and just couldn't get the alts charged while red they had four alts most of the time there. With a couple picks there, they really couldn't char uh, charge any alts. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. But Free flight checklist complete. Whole hog Kitsune is very scary. Um, with that, this will be the first time we're seeing a third map on Talizar tonight. The first safe? match had only LTV a 2-0. However, we will see Control Center once again. A little bit of a switch up. I do like Admiral going over to this Junkrat for ITHF. But you know, Junkrat also being matched by Sharketeer. Uh, and this time, classic. Junk yeah. Sim, maybe. The Junk Sim out. However, Green is going to be on the Mercy, so we might see Sharketeer do a bit more damage with it. And both teams getting very fast to this point. However, ITHF just going to get there a little bit faster with that Sim QB. Admiral spamming shots onto the right. The Mercy Pocket is on the Sojourn a bit right now, but trying to keep the team alive. Both teams trying to sustain with heals. J-Dub actually getting pretty low right now. And the Symmetra turrets are in great position to keep them off that angle. And Ryan going in. J-Dub, Jet just completely misses his whole team getting pushed behind. And that's just going to be a clean fight win for ITHF. And Jet just scrambling back to spawn. Going right into this next fight, we're looking... Oh, to never fails, baby. <laughs> we're looking to see... What this Junkrat can do from Admiral, doing a lot of damage up front, forcing Jet to take a lot of damage. The shield's getting low. Admiral actually gonna get that kill, but Major Player is also gonna go down. Junkrat's getting the kills they need. However, one team is down on Junkrat, and now one team is down on Reinhardt. This res comes in, but it looks like JW is just gonna force them way, way back, back into their spawn. Man, we got a drunk tire coming up here. How many does it get this time? <laughs> and, and a window, we also got a window. Yeah. I mean, the highlight of... Oh, there it is. Let's Here we see. go. The trap is in. Oh, the fire strike. Oh, what a fire strike. Jet is getting very low, though, from that charge, but it looks like they'll be able to sustain that. 
This old dog still having that bat window. Expect to see it here very early. There it is right there. The fire strike goes through. It doesn't get anyone. Sharker Tier throwing a great mine in the back line. And Lee's old actually the kill off the bat piece. The Shadowlam! Big slam motion getting him down because of it. And one support is now down, but the charge is in and forced right back off. Diesel's training on the Admiral. The tire goes out and the beat is forced as well. Both teams trying to make control of major player. Actually, because the shatter gets blocked. Three! The three tire. Three kills from Sharkets here. These junk rats love their 3Ks tonight. That's very true. Um, we got... Oh, it's 11.59 right now for red team. Um, with a sim wall coming up for blue. So that's it. That's it literally it. That's gonna happen in this fight, unless it's a two-hour fight. Yeah, high noon could be detriment or it could be very important for Team Wave Riders. IT Temp actually in control. Point one goes down from the high noon. It is 12 o'clock, and es Esquale Esqueleto is feeling it. I mean, ults. Very in favor of ITHF right now. Yeah, we got a tire coming up and a window still, or not a window, uh, sim wall still here. I do think they might swap out the sim after this wall though. Um, maybe like tracer or something, just come back. Um, mm -hmm. The sim wall does come out here. It's in great position, splitting the point. Jet actually being forced and it gets charged. Jet is in a very bad spot. Another tire comes out. Let's see what it does. The windows, or the lamp is out. It's just trying to scramble. There it goes, but it doesn't get anyone. And the point is swapping back over to ITHF. Old Dog having a great lamp. I'm very surprised that didn't go down in time. And Major Player getting very low, but Liesel's, however, gonna get the kill. It looks like it's still winnable for Wave Riders right now. Sharpeteer is going in. Jet also getting back now, and the Sim is gonna go down to this Reinhardt right now. Lucio in, looking for a bit more contest. Riding around as one might do on the Lucio. Actually doing a great job, but finally gonna go down to motion. And JW is back to contest the point. Actually, Old Dog is still not going to take it out. Both Ryan's on the floor. The Katsuni rush out from motion. Three now down. Four IGHF. And it finally looks like they're going to be able to take the point back. Wait, With Red Pop, two alts. Both support alts for, just to kill the last two people on point in that stall. Jet's going to have to hit the huge, a big slam here. While mm -hmm. uh, Blue Team, they have four alts basically coming into this. Yeah, I expect to see an early tire. They're actually going to go right into this side room over here, and they're going to take early point into... And the actual Ooh. window comes out. The fire strike kills Dark no Truck here, and the tire's following it right back up. Motion is in a very dangerous spot. The bell comes out. Oh, just keeping out, and the shatter's down. And it's... Lizos is on the side, doesn't get anything, and Shark Tier, however, is back in this fight. Mercy gonna go finally down, and it looks like Wave Riders needs to go contest comp. Lizos finally gonna get eliminated. Let's see if they're able to make it back in time, but it just looks like it's not gonna be enough time left for them. jumped over the shadow! And that's gonna be first match, or first map in favor of ITHF. That was, that was crazy, but yeah, four alts over two, it, it prevailed. Dark is here with that Junkrat tire, is gonna get play of the game. You know, you can say it all you want, but I think the healers really did keep ITHF in the game. It wasn't their fault, that BAP lamp was extremely important uh, it was for their that fault fight. that they won. It was their fault that they won. <laughs> Very true. Well... 1-0 now in favor of ITHF, a very close map that Control Center getting down pretty much almost to 99.99. However, Wave Riders did not reach that full point cap. And we are going right into our second map of Hybrid very shortly. What do you, what do you think that Wave Riders need to do, keep doing? Maybe what they need to swap up here to maybe have a chance, you know, to oh, take think... this map. Uh, bobbing those two support alts on map three there definitely was the main reason why they lost that. They only needed one, maybe. Maybe they didn't need either. But that's okay. I think if they just keep playing their game, as it's their map pick, I think they'll win this next map. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are just now waiting for a map pick here. Let's see what Wave Riders want to do with this escort pick. You know... I haven't even played on it in the new season. I haven't seen it played. I want to see some Numbani. And I know that's, that's going to get some buddy. bad comment. Oh, that's hybrid. 
I want to see some Numbani next map. <laughs> I think hybrid is this one, though. Oh. You know, I want to see some Numbani this map. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little confused. I, I was looking in the chat. They're talking about maps right now, but... Let's let's see what happens. I, I'm not a huge fan of Numbani, but I've missed it since Overwatch 1. No way. No. Oh my god. Gentlemen and Numbani anyway. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna come in here and make an executive decision. I want Numbani seen right now. I want it swapped right into the map pool. <clears throat> um Um, I believe there's actually a little confusion about what is in the map pool, so. Um, they're asking for you on uh map pool, by the way. <laughs> All right. I, you know, if Numbani's not in, I want to see something that we haven't seen. You know, the Eichenwald was fun, but I would like to see a different map. Hopefully. Midtown. Town. Yeah, I, I love me some Midtown. I think Midtown's probably my favorite new map. Mm-hmm. I don't know. A lot of people haven't liked Push, and me personally, I do like Push. Maybe I'm a little biased because I uh, play a lot of Lucio. <laughs> and uh lucio's pretty fun on push uh so i uh but that's not the next map which we haven't even seen push yet so well hopefully we I get think... to map four to see a push yeah i think you're gonna get your wish though midtown is in okay wave riders electing to go over to midtown love me some new york city yeah uh new york's pretty cool <laughs> um so they they didn't think Midtown was in the pool at first, but um, because they're they're like trying to veto it. Uh, ITHF was trying to veto it, saying mm -hmm. it wasn't in their pool, so they might not have any practice on the, like a lot of practice on this map, uh, for recent recent times at least, for the new meta. Uh, but Wave Riders definitely wanted Midtown, so this 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 is a good sign for Wave Riders, I'd say. Yeah, I'm. I love to see some Midtown, you know? No, this first point is always fun to watch. But we're going to get right into it already. If you're just joining us, welcome. We are watching currently ITHF, It's the Healer's Fault, versus Wave Riders. And just we just saw ITHF take a very close 2-1 on Li Zhang, now in the lead with 1-0 maps. However, Wave Riders electing to go to Midtown. And let's see if they're able to take advantage of it. <clears throat> All right, so for the attack, we will see Wave Riders first, actually. Jet is going to be going over to the Sigma. Motion and Green playing the Zenyatta and Mercy, while Sharketeer and Lizals will play, or I'm sorry, Lizals will play the Cassidy and the Widowmaker. Interesting. Uh, Zen Mercy, I rarely see that in uh, more competitive matches. Uh, I, s I have seen it in my comp games a couple times. Usually doesn't go too well. Let's see what they got here. In Widow on Midtown? I also haven't seen that on Midtown before. This Zen stays uh, with this Mercy. This monkey's not going to have a fun time, though. Mm -hmm. All right, getting right into it. We do see ITHF playing that Echo Mercy. A major player is going to go on to Sojourn. This old dog going to pick the Kiriko with J-Dub, rounding it out with the monkey. Admiral getting actually very low, and the rock comes out to try to force the monkey off, but it looks like it's not going to connect. J-Dub getting discorded and pushing back right up into train. And it looks like Wave Rider is going to take this low ground and try to get closer to point. And Jet Shield is getting very low, and the rock also comes out once again, misses, and it looks like this spam from ITHF is keeping them at bay. Must Sharketeer finally getting over and the dive is in. J-Dub getting absolutely obliterated. And Sharketeer almost going down as well. But it looks like Wave Riders is in just a little bit better position for this as both supports are left, but yeah. it's going to be a we clean all, wipe. We all love the Winton, but uh, not against Zen. I'm going to be uh, honest with you. That hurts. Okay, but we're going to try the Winton again. Uh, all right, it looks like blue team's going over to the Reaper here. This is like 
Oh, old meta here with Tracer, Reaper, Monkey, Lucio. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, rush comp. Yeah, pretty much the old meta, a little bit different, but not too different. The uh, Wave Riders are actually going to take some early positioning on this high ground, looking to see what they can accomplish. J-Dub just getting forced off this peak. Jet doing a lot of damage to build some out. The Sigma Flux is almost up. Let's see the, this this cart just rolling right on in under Midtown Tunnel, and the dive is finally in, but J-Dub kind of messes up the jump a little bit, and Motion is getting pushed out, finally killed by Admiral. This Widow is doing a lot of damage from this high ground, and it looks like J-Dub is finally going to fall. Wave Rider is absolutely getting a lot of kills right now, headed by Lizals, and absolutely obliterating ITHF. Yeah, they didn't know where the Widow was. Uh, oh my. They have, uh, four alts oh. coming up on the side of Wave Riders here. Uh, and Dinking Admiral on the head. So brutal. They might just get a 4v5 here on the cap, which is unfortunate. Yeah, this, um... This one also coming up on the side of, uh, it's the healer's fault. I want to see this. Oh my god. Alright, Jada will over the Reinhardt. I, it flux, can anyone even touch? It looks like yeah, the Eldest. Yep, the charges and Admiral also gets a touch. J Dub right into the back line onto green. He's also getting the kill onto this old dog. Two now down for ITHF. The high noon is out. Two also for Sharketeer. And it's just the Reaper and the Rock trying to finish him off in the Discord as well, and it's gonna go down. They have five minutes on the clock right now. Hello. You know, we were a little confused about the Mercy Zenyatta, but it's it's rolling. <laughs> it's it's working. Oh, they're on the ball now for it's the healer's fault. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a trans out for, uh, Zenyatta here on Wave Rider's side, uh, against two support alts, probably four alts in total here if they, uh, play, uh, lengthen out the fight just enough. Oh, pulse bomb! Got there mercy. it is. Green is down, and it looks like they're gonna take advantage of it. Admiral also gonna kill off Sharketeer, and it looks like the cart is gonna stall exactly where it is, forcing the rest of Wave Riders out. Oh. You know, I could I could definitely see Admiral playing a very big role right now with the Zen Mercy comp. The Transcendence is up, but, you know, Admiral plus J-Dub's dive on the ball could absolutely obliterate both green and motion. Yeah, I'm wondering if the supports after popping alts here are going to swap it over to Zen, because Zen ball, Tracer, with the slam, uh, whoever gets slammed gets discorded, the Tracer just... Oh. That person. There it is. There's the dive. It goes right on the Lizals, and the Transcendence is forced out, but it looks like it's not really doing anyone going into the rescue green, and it looks like green is going to get very low and finally finished off by a major player on that Reaper. Yeah, it's right now. Oh my god, there is a cap right now. Jet, Jet nearly getting it almost to the end point. I mean, Jet's finally going to go down with a flying Sigma Ragdoll we see right there. Yeah. But it looks like... That was staggered it. Jet a little bit harder there, probably. Might have been good to get him down to like three minutes, maybe. But it wasn't a bad stagger by any means. Okay, we have five alts on the side of a uh, healer's fall. Compared to just. Uh, I guess it's 11.59 for Wave Riders right now. Alright. Let's it's see what that time. happens. It's almost that time. That ball is going absolutely crazy in that hallway, but it looks like ITHF are going to hold great control of this high ground shark here, trying to do a little bit of damage. And the grenade goes on, and the mine also out, but it looks like it's not going to get anyone. Admiral finally going to kill on motion. That brick swap isn't going to do anything. And Lizal is getting very low to major player. Jet once again caught way back out onto the cart and trying to cap it a little more. You know, I think something needs to change because this these back cap attempts really aren't gonna get anywhere right now. I was questioning about those mines at first, but the actually just the only supports out and Jet just died. Like you couldn't do anything. <laughs> okay, we we still got three alts on the side of uh it's the healer's fault. Uh coming in here against only two. Uh except Sky Noon is a possibility here. I agree, let's see what happens here. I would like to see a great Reaper, um, ult from Major Player. Oh, Sharketeer once. Oh, there it is! And the team going right into them with the Kiriko ult as well. Once again, trying to cap in the back line again. And it looks like the whole team is now regrouped onto this cart. Jet in. 
Dang. The Tracer are both trying to escape very, very closely, but it looks like another wipe for ITHF. They need to swap either now or they give it one more try here, but they just have to pop all. It's like, you see one, press that Q button kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Or like two and just, it's high noon kind of deal. Got one here. We still got beef. What? I had beef for ever. Pulse bomb? Is that on ball? All right, motion actually gonna get the kill on the Lucio. Looks like their uh, wave riders are probably gonna get a break in the. Sorry, the Cassidy. They got it. Oh. They got it. <laughs> I guess it finally works. Score. It, it only took three tries. <laughs> Third time's a charm. It finally happens. There's a complete distraction in this fight light right here. Reaper trying to scramble back, but it, it didn't happen. The cap just went in from police halls, right? Yeah. They have more than a minute now, which is big. The cap in overtime, they don't get a chance to even attack now. All right. You know, I see Jet on the sig still. It's really, it's good, great to see Wave Riders coming in with that kind of momentum. A, a full cap, nevertheless, with a minute 16 on the clock is great, but they just gotta hold it now and try to get us to 1 1. Looking at the comps, we actually see Wave Riders switching it up a little bit. Jet going over to this Ramatra, Sharketeer going under the May. You know, the Cassidy will stay the same for these alls, but, or Lizels. I'm sorry if I say that wrong, by the way. Um, motion will go to the Kiriko. Lucio will come, be coming out for green. You know, seeing a bit of a rush comp here from Wave Riders, but very similar stuff from ITHF. The Cassidy and the May both out, as well as J Dub's Reinhardt, and the Lucio will be matched, and the BAP. Attackers incoming. I like this Ram here, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Ram. being able to get into, like, uh, Cassidy, but I like Ram on defense here. Oh, yeah, they're going right over to the side here. Let's see if Wave Riders match them over here. And the Rhine's right out in. The May Wall is in a great spot. Both May Walls actually in a great spot. Shark here getting very low. Actually kind of working the main freeze, and the Rhine first comes in as well as the Kiriko. Bell, and it looks like they're forcing Wave Riders a bit out. They're going to be great position, but the Cassidy gets one. Admiral is now in. But alone, the team is just inside this room. Admiral has no one to back them up. And it looks like Wave Riders are going to get control of this point. Jada, however, right into the back line. Two now down. The swinging. Both tanks actually going into the back line, but it looks like it's going to favor Wave Riders a little bit more. I thought Wave Riders were losing that there. Uh, Jet was 1 HP for half the fight. Mm -hmm. um, instead, Jet has uh, the scary Ramatro that we all uh, know and love um, into a shatter. So he pops Ram off. I think um, a hammer down is going to come out here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens here. I would like to see an excellent shatter from J-Dub. You know, it's very hard to block that shatter with Jet, but Jet probably knows better that the shatter might come out. Jet Ooh, also actually mid. has the Ramatra ult, too. Maywall now. Yep, Another there. Maywall, but it looks like, oh, the shatter gets blocked by its own team again. And Jet is right into the back line as well as the Cassidy High Noon. No one's gonna go down. Actually, really in favor of ITHF right now, and it looks like they're gonna win the fight. Yeah, even though the Maywall, or the, the Maywall is short, it was, it, it didn't matter. The fight was over. Um, and they have both support alts coming up next fight into only a oh, I guess Yeah, you got Kiri and May all here. Oh, do they touch? May might touch Yeah, the main touch touching in. Let's see what happens here. Main Rams is also up Big ult! Jet makes survive long enough the beat comes out and Sharket here gonna go down The fight is in. Jen is doing a lot of damage to that map. Old Dog getting very well but staying alive just now The Cassidy gets two! Can they get more and still win this fight? Three now for the Wave Riders, and it looks like they're gonna win. What a retake. Look at that point. There is just a pixel of percentage left to take that point. How's Window High Noon, by the way? Window High Noon? It, I don't it think sounds it. scary. High Noon doesn't get amplified by Window, I'm pretty sure. Um, the schools probably don't, but you probably only have to charge it halfway. If the, if the bullets go through, I'm guess. not really sure. Maybe we'll have to. Any any 
audience members though? Any Twitch chat members though? Anyways, we'll get right back into this. ITHF going for their similar push on the side. However, they're not going to be able to match it with this May right now. They're taking a little bit of time to regroup, and here it comes right out. Lucio pushing them forward. The Cassidy 4 wave ride is actually a great spot, but the window comes out from this old dog. Jet actually caught out, and Major Blair with the Cassidy ult on the side of May, perfectly timing the high noon. And it looks like both teams are trying to scramble to stay alive. Both Cassidy's actually not being able to get anything. JW to get one and make it three now in favor of ITHF. is trying to keep the team alive, but it looks like they're finally going to be able to cap this full point. Oh my god. Oh, he got three! <laughs> this Cassidy from Wave Riders is, is putting in work right now. Yeah, the, the Cassidy High Noon, they were all 1 HP. We got Mail on the side of a Healer's Fault um, into a, a Ramal. They, they might just be able to react to the Ramal and just throw Mail. I love me some Lucio boosted Ramal, so. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah. Wave Riders taking this high ground. Let's see what they're able to do with Mr. Monster ult. They also have the May Freeze coming up very shortly as well as the Kiriko Katsune. But Admiral actually online with their Freeze. And it looks like they're going to go right up on the high ground. Another Cassidy pick. And it looks like the Freeze is going to try to match the damage. Both Freezes actually now coming out. And it's actually going to get bapped. But the Lamp comes out to keep them alive. No team going down yet. Jet actually in a very awkward spot. But it looks oh, like for all that... That's yeah, not, all that... True. Ult usage and damage, it seems like they're just gonna take this high ground now. I guess Cassidy died, he's walking back now, but. Mm hmm. But they you got know, the really... out, and now Wave Riders has two ults going into this fight compared to a beat if they are able to stall it out long enough, but that's it. Yeah, Kitsune rush out now. It's gonna actually try to get one, but no. It looks like two teams, two kills for both teams now in favor of ITHF with that Cassidy pick. Four kills for ITHF, and it's just Jet trying to scramble and get some damage out. Oh, and it actually, actually gets Admiral on the May and trying to run away from this Jada Reinhardt, and it just looks alive. like, yeah, Jet will survive. That's actually a great thing from Wave Riders. They're going to be able to recontest this point. Yeah, I thought Lucio needed to beat there on the side of uh, It's the Healer's Fault. Mini didn't, and then they started winning, and then now the card stalled. Maybe they did need to beat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, we're winding down to one minute left. It looks like ITHF is going to take this high ground here, trying to do a little bit seconds. of damage. Sharketeer in a great spot, but they see it. They know Sharketeer doesn't get anything, and they're breaking right through that Maywall. And actually, JW is right in onto the Jet, but Jet's Grimatra ult beat as well. Hiding from the sides, they don't see it, but it doesn't get anyone from that beat. Both Cassidy's fighting in favor of Wave Riders now getting that pick. Jet is still in this Grimatra ult and absolutely obliterating the team, but the Maywall keeps them alive for a little bit longer and forces the Grimatra ult down. Looks like they get a regress with Admiral. Admiral forced with the freeze as well as the Kiriko Bell. And Jade up trying to do a bit of damage, but getting a little bit too low. Admiral now gonna freeze. It looks like two are caught out. Sharketeer, actually, Sharketeer freezes, actually. Jet uh, finally gonna get some kills. Is, is this it? it oh, Admiral! Oh. Admiral 3! Admiral 3, they can still catch. They have to touch point. They have to bring the, the point forward. The card is far away. That has gone back half away. Oh my god, this oh, Cassidy creative. fight is incredibly the excited. All right. What's gonna happen? I mean, three ults in favor of ITHF, but two ults... Or Wave Riders gonna be on third with the so Cassidy here. All right, Kiriko rush or Kiriko. Kitsune rushes out. Jade up gonna get the kill on the green. Wave Riders is out of the shatters out. Nothing but Jet gets charged by Jade up. Jet getting very low, but Gaines is getting extended on his team. Admiral gonna get traded out. Jet still getting very low out of Nemesis form, and Jade up trying to finish it off. A major player hiding Ooh. there. It is Jet is down, but it looks like Wave Riders are able to control this a bit, and the beat is out. Can they hold this without the tank right now? High noon is out. Will it finish? It Big will get noon. one. And oh, they just barely don't touch the play. That's it. It's over. That's it. Victory. We have a tied series, one one, with Wave Riders taking that map on Midtown. Hey, that was really well fought, fought right there by both teams. I unfortunate that they weren't pushing the cart the whole whole nine hour fight that they had. Um, Admiral went crazy there, got like a five piece, or four piece. I mean, a jet didn't die like three times when he should have. Um, yeah.
Going on to payload coming up here. What do you think? Yep. Maybe Junker Town. No, we kind of got baited with the Junker Town on last map. I would, I would like to see oh, it. Oh, that's true. Wait. I'm yeah, wondering right. if the teams are going to take a half time. Let's see what they say. Um, actually, right. Switching over to Dorado. I think they might just go right into this map. <laughs> See what happens. Well, you know, 1-1 one, one now. Both teams having a map under their belt. Having a map in the win column. ITHF. Took that Lijong Tower, but Wave Ride is now also going to be able to take that Midtown. What does ITHF have to do to regain this momentum? Hmm. I don't know. It's their map pick, so they got like that comfort there. I think same thing like I said for Wave Riders. They just need to play to their strengths, use alts, combo alts, and they should be able to win it just fine and tr keep track of the other team's alts. So I do think... A couple of occasions, both teams did not track alts um, as well as they could have. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no halftime. Both teams have elected to not take a halftime here. Oh, we're just going to go into it. Is it Dorado, then? Let's see. Giving them a little bit of time to set up. Let's see. Wait, what? Desk opening Pokemon cards? Did they get anything good from the card packs? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sag. All right, welcome back. Sorry, we had to open a couple Pokemon cards. Um, Thunderstar, are you here? Yeah, yeah, we're here. <laughs> um, no idea if we're actually going into Dorado or not here. Um, I think so. Maybe. I, I wouldn't I mind like, a D Dorado game. I, I love some Dorados. Like Ash or something like that. I like my Winstons on Dorado. Winton. Winton Overwatch. Overwatch. And we're getting right into uh, it on Dorado. Auto. All right, you know, I love me some Winston. I'm hoping to see some Winston, but you know what I like more than Winston? Some Wrecking Ball, baby. Uh, I mean, I, it's more likely to get a Wrecking Ball here, probably. Maybe not, but 
Yeah, we. I mean, Ball we've... is so strong right now. I am surprised we haven't seen more ball tonight. You've seen a lot of brawl and rush comp tonight, honestly. Yeah, we have. Which I know Reinhardt's There's like... There's the Winton. Pretty good. Winton over a lot. With a Faro Mercy. And a Genji? Interesting. Yeah, ITHF already knows what they're running, so... Jadeup going over to the Winston. Admiral and Esqueleto are going to play the Pharmacy, while Black Icy is going to go on to the Genji, and this old dog is going to play the Ana. Uh, looks like we're looking at Nanoblade and Nano Winston. Yeah. Sharketeer actually also going to be on the fair. Let's see if that sticks, but... I mean, Admiral will have a good bit of an advantage right now. I'm surprised we aren't seeing a Tracer, considering this is, like, really good Five, for Tracer. Mm-hmm. All right, starting right one. up. Wave Riders will have pause? the first attack. Oh, already asking for a pause. I don't think that Admiral wants to grant them that pause. There it is. Uh, I think they asked for pause before the map started. Not really sure. Uh, yeah. I think you should restart the map, honestly. Let's see what they decide on a technical issue. Up to them. Fair enough. Uh, actually, maybe they shouldn't. Um, because now they know what they're running. Yeah, probably wouldn't be safe. Well, they're already ready to go right back into it, so shouldn't be an issue. Oh, we're, we're going. Go oh, okay. yeah, going right into it already. All right, here we go. <laughs> the pharmacies are out. The pharmacies are fighting. The dog fight has reemerged. Oh, the widow is already down. down. Yeah, Black Eyes and Jade up just diving that immediately. Actually, gonna trade it back though. Jade up gonna get the kill, and it looks like they're gonna be down their monkey right now. Oh, the air shot on the shark is here. Admiral actually going to try to get the res. Wow. Res! Admiral no with a great Faraboop to keep the Mercy alive. And now Green is actually going to get traded and Shark is here with, is without their Mercy. Hard actually going very, very far. I think this, this whole fight up front here has made us forget about the cart. And Jet and Motion have brought it way, way forward. Motion are finally going to go down. The cart's just going to go right under the bridge. Admiral's not missing right now. Mm. Admiral doing a lot of damage on that far. Already at 62% all charge. Shark is here. Actually, we're trade back onto this old dog. Let's see if another Mercy Res comes out. Oh, what a bubble. They are absolutely sustaining these Mercy Reses. Doing an excellent job. Gotta hand it to ICHF right now. Excellent job to keep these Mercy Reses safe. Black Icy a little caught out. And it's actually going to get punished right there. But 80 and 90 on both four ults here, by the way. Mm. Cart getting even closer again. Jet is doing a great job to keep that cart moving, and it looks like Wave Riders are going to take control easily and get this first point capture. Yeah, I mean, so it was like 50-50 going kills both ways, right? But they didn't really contest the cart, so they just get a cap for winning one fight. Yeah, you got to hand it to Jet and motion there getting a very good cart push early on they didn't even need to take another fight and we're going right into the second point this dog fight has been good i'd say admiral has done a bit more damage but sharketeer's value has been a little bit higher to keep the team rolling on the cart and we see jadub trying to contest this both bars now fighting the dog fight is in the air no air shots yet actually finally hitting one on the green green getting low but the heels are up and the team is fine Who's going to all first on the Faro? Yeah, both teams. Honestly, Wave Riders are just getting complete like control of this point. They really don't know what to do. Finally, Admiral goes to contest it. And the, and the Nano is out on the j Monkey. Let's see if the problem comes out later. Actually, Admiral going to get traded by the Cassidy. But if the res is right back up and keeping Admiral in this fight, Sharks here in a great spot. And the Barrage finally comes out from Admiral to get Jet. Only one. Let's see if they're able to sustain this fight. Motion trying to escape, keep the mercy alive. Green being very, very low, and it's finally down for them. I, they, I don't know. I think Wave Riders should should have popped something a little earlier there to get rotating some more alts because now they're five alts and they don't need five alts for any of these fights. Um, and instead, Admiral press Q. Well, I guess Nano Winston alt and Farall just to win the fight. Not bad, but now Wave Riders are going to walk on them with 5 ults. What are they going to do? Valk yeah. now, try to win the fight? 
J-Dub actually in a good spot to die, but the high noon is actually to get Admiral. Going for the res. Yeah, res once again in, and it's in favor of ITHF right now. Jet trying to sustain the team, but it looks like the card is going to get sold where it is. The Valk comes out. Maybe they'll res. Maybe they'll just let the heals stay powerful. The Sharks here going right up to fight that pharmacy again. Ooh! This old dog killing off the bar with the auto, and let's see if they're able to block the res too. Then there's an enemy Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be fine. Jet actually going right in with that Rumatra Nemesis form, but it looks like there's not really gonna be anything done right there. Jet finally pushing the card a little for further, and the Farah is finally back as well. Sharketeer now trying to do a little bit of damage with the Kiriko Kitsune rushes out. Rumatra is using that to do a lot of damage as well as it get that. Ramatra ult out, motion goes down from Admiral, and the Nano also goes in. Esculento is gonna go down on the Mercy, however, and it looks like it's a little bit in favor. The drop down High Noon, and it's the it's Barrage oh, right back. Barrage. Two actually go down from that Barrage. De death from above as they are able to off. kill. And there's the, another Barrage. Admiral tried to finish it off, but it looks like it can't happen. J-Dub gonna trade back on the Cassidy, but they might just go into the push. That Go Mercy's for in the for the res and an How did absolutely go? insane res. Did not expect that. The monkey's in getting very low and it looks like it's gonna go down or they're gonna go down as well. Just the Ana on cart actually forcing the high noon. Doesn't look like it was necessary, but you know, they're able to control this fine. Yeah, I'm surprised about that res there. I mean they got it. It was they they won the fight, but it was in the middle of three of them. Now it's the healer's fault. No ults this fight. Not a single one. But I think they need to try push, contest the card like instantly. Try to get this Valk out. Yeah. I mean, Green has that Mercy Valkyrie up. Let's see what they're able to use with it. They need Could to be a contest now. Yep. Jada probably gonna jump right in. There it is. Actually gonna go to the high ground and look for a little contest from above and drop down from behind. Jet already senses and already putting a lot of damage into Nemesis form. The Cassidy grenade actually gonna kill the Lucio for ITHF. And it looks like Shark Shark is gonna do a lot of damage on that fur on the back line, but no one goes down yet. Admiral just barely escaping away on the Echo, and this card is still rolling in further. Motion gonna kill off Black Icy. And they're just rolling into this cart. J-Dub is on this high ground. And they're looking to contest. Can they do it? The high noon is out. Will it get either this Lucio or Monkey? They're kind of trapped in this bubble right now. And finally kills off the Lucio. It looks like it's just J-Dub left trying to do as much as they can. But the Primal isn't there. Admiral now testing cart with Black Icy. But the team is going down one by one. And that's the cap for Wave Riders. I think your Wave Riders were dominant there. I saw but make like one contest per point from the side of it's the healer's fault. Which I mean, it can be fine, but you could have had like three more fights if you just contested earlier. I agree. I do like the very proactive usage of alts from wave riders, whether it was Barrage or High Noon or even just Mercy Valkyrie. It kept them rolling into this point and they got the full cap with a minute 30 left yeah they just kept rotating alts um while two alts were up Ready three alts were charging most of the time which was really good except for the one point where they had five alts in the second point because they didn't need to pop any yet which is fine but in my experience you're gonna pop all five of those alts we're actually going to see a couple of switch-ups. Um, I'm not sure if ITHF are going to stick to this dive slash Torb comp they're running, but, you know, I expect to see Wave Riders on what they're running. Motion staying on that Kiriko as well as Jet. I mean, pretty much sticking on everything they ran except the Ash switchover. Ash instead of Kree or Cassidy? Seems like it. Bar's back though. Stop the pain. Excellent teamwork. All right. Oh, Admiral getting very low. Not able to finish off that kill with the Ash. They're holding this high ground very well. Let's see what Jet is able to do with this Ramatra. Potentially keep the team throwing out some damage. This Farah just absolutely raining rockets onto the back line of ITHF. 
but the cart is moving. J-Dub doing a good job to keep this cart moving, although they finally go back up, and it looks like they're booped off by the Ash. However, again, he's trying to do something. Both DPS actually on ITHF trying to get this Ash off high ground, but it looks like they're able to control it. Hey, what a dynamite I got through with it. Ooh, oh, finally picked dead, off. Dead. This dive actually obliterating. Why was on that. Oh, um, no way they rest that, right? This rest shouldn't happen. No. J-Dub jumping back in, trying to get this mercy damage, but it looks like Green is going to escape with the Farah. However, Black Icy with a great dash and kill. Charcuteer going to fall shortly behind that. And it looks like it's just white for Wave Riders. AT ITHF taking this first point. Easy peasy. But maybe not, actually. Admiral is down, so it is for the however they want to contest this if they decide to. Yeah, there is oh, a touch. Here. Bob actually almost up too. So let's see how that plays a role. Green actually being forced off, but Jadam not fully committing, and the cap comes in. Yeah, the cap is in. The Ash gets traded out, and it looks like it's going to be a cap and a push forward for IT Chef. Nice rush, by the way. Being interactive. Got two yeah, wait. DPS holds on the side of Wave Riders. Two DPS ults at 70, and then you got a monkey rage at 80. Rally yeah. probably will come up too here. Um, Wave Riders taking this high ground. No switches yet for either team. They're playing what they know. Actually, J Dub on the oh. high ground. Admiral already gonna get killed. Will the res come out? It looks like Jed is actually gonna get two. Could clear the way for a res. Green is in the seat in a safe spot, yeah, and there res it goes. Is out. They don't need to alter anything now. Yep. Shark doing a lot of damage up from top. Old Dog trying to escape with both the bell and the teleport. Admiral in a very rough spot. Kiriko as well. And it looks like only one of them will go down, however. Yeah, I wouldn't mind them using the far out there, though, considering it's very, very counterable. And you can just die for it. Just to, like, kill the Echo. Yeah, five. Five ults up for Wave yeah. Riders. Four up for ITHF. The only they're thing they're especially lacking the is the point two, it seems. Yep. Let's see what comes out first. I'm betting the Mercy Valve. Um, I'm betting Bob. Nope, it's the Bob. Uh, it's All right, the Genji ult is out as well as the Barrage. That Genji is going to get nothing. However, Admiral is going to trade it back. Two now down for ITHF. Target's it looks rushing. like Mercy is going for the res, and it's going to go off. Sharketeer is back in the fight. J-Dub doing a lot of damage in the back line with that Monkey Primal, but no one has gone down yet from it. Finally, Jets gets pushed forward into the team. Once again, the Brig is going to go down for ITHF, and it looks like both teams are trying to stabilize this fight. Genji now back, two down for ITHF. Green, however, gets traded out. Only one support left, and that fart is going to get copied and push the team way, way back into their spawn. Mythic, or I'm sorry, Motion doing a great job to keep Sharketeer alive, and it looks like they're not going to die yet. They turned that around so well, actually. They, they were down one or two, and they still popped alts and won the fight, basically. Yep, here comes the rally out from the brig as well as the Kitsune Rush and the Ramatra all doing a lot of damage into this team. The monkey trying to push them off, but Jet is just actually not really doing much because of that rally, but still alive. Sharpetier finally kills someone. The brig going down as well as the Genji falling to the Ramatra ult. Back in the Nemesis form, Liza's actually getting dove from behind. It doesn't look like Kiriko is there fast enough. Admiral finally gonna go down, but getting one and the res is out, canceling that kill. Yeah, one kill is not enough. They're just back. Hey, I mean, Rush Ramatra is terrifying. The fight was over right when that happened, unless there was a beat online or something. But that's and the rally did keep them up for a while, but uh, not well enough, right? Um, uh, if the healers fault ha have Rush here, um, if they just pop it instantly, they might just win the fight. Uh, the only issue is. How do they get up to the high ground? Oh, well, I guess everyone but Brig can oh, get up there pretty easily. Oh. That's another. That's pretty. Oh wait. Well, let's see now. Yeah, one down for both teams. I mean, J Dub being a little more important to the THF. Getting you trying to do something. Oh, the air shot on the Genji and it's down for ITHF and it looks like they're forced out. Oh, Sharketeer actually. Both teams just trading back and forth. What's happening? ITHF not in a bad spot. They're already back. The Hanzo getting swap swapped over now. That Genji's seemingly not working, but the Hanzo hopefully willing to do more. J 
J-Dub has that primal up and it looks like he's gonna jump to the high ground and it's gonna come out the bob out two Ooh, down. Come on, what a doesn't dive. Even, doesn't even need the primal. Admiral's doing a great job. Hobbs and attacker spawn right now. Kinda missed the, the point where uh Yeah, Bob was a aimed. far back, but Let's see if uh, uh, Wave Rider is able to recast. Recontest. Jet is trying to do so. Almost up on that Big ult. Big rush. Kitsune rush out. It's doing a lot of damage. The Bastion actually comes out. Black Icy gonna get that kill on the motion. And the Barrage is out. Will it get anyone? No. Admiral already cancels it. Rig trying to contest. And it looks like they will get this cap. We're going to third point. They didn't pop anything after that rush, even in response to the Far Barrage. It's really scary, but I, it's positive, I guess. It's positive. We already definitely will see Wave Riders going into this next round with a bit of a, a time lead, but let's see if they can end it right here, right now. We got a rally coming up here. It could just be a fight winner. Pop it first, though. Uh, Motion's got Rush, which also could just be a fight winner. Rush, Rush for Monstro. That's all they need to do. Yeah. I don't think three alls could even be that. Well, the Hanzo will come out here. Copy the Lucio. Like, yep. Lucio copy. Will they build that fast enough? Here comes oh my the ult from Ramatra. Two now down by J-Dub. Doing a lot of work on that with it. And the beat actually comes out trying to fight Circus here in the back. Asper is actually going to give the Lucio kill from that beat. And the Hanzo ult is going absolutely nowhere, it seems. That was a really good dive. Yeah, rolling right into this. It... Uh, under a minute now, will Wave Riders contest this? It's rolling right in about five meters left. Let's see. Motion onto the card as well as Sharketeer. Two now down for Wave Riders. They're just trying to get time. Right already in. And it looks like Jet is getting damaged. But very, very low. Lucio going down. And there is the cap. Oh, looks really like, good. Looks like we're going to see a little more Dorado. More monkey. <laughs> Uh, monkey. I love monkey. All right. Well, two minutes on the clock for Wave Riders. One minute on the clock for ITHF. Both teams having the opportunity to take this map. I think both teams have the momentum right now. Um, Wave Riders kind of having the momentum from going into this map after their last map win. However, ITHF seemingly like they were going to struggle to push that fully but they did get it even with time on the clock left looking at the comps we're actually going to see something a little bit different from wave riders jet going to go over to that orissa hmm. but everything else stays pretty similar to what they've been running already however that comp from ithf they just ran on attack is going to stay the exact same the only issue with this orissa is if they see it j -dubs can just swap Cause I bet the the Arisa's definitely for uh for the monkey. Yeah. Five, four, All right, counting three, down now. Scout it and do that though. One. Yeah, Jet's gonna be holding that high ground. Sharketeer already throwing a lot of shots in onto that monkey, doing a little bit of damage, getting six percent ult charge. It looks like Jadeb is gonna try to get a peek at what they're about to face up against. Black Icy playing from the side, looking to get some shots. Hopefully a lucky shot on the fair. Admiral already taking that high ground as well. Actually forcing a bit of a retreat. Uh, Wave Riders seemingly taking the low ground, knowing they can fight a little more up close and personal. And ITH ever going to take right advantage, advantage right of that and get J-Dub into the bridge on Monkey. There goes, J-Dub is looking to get a little bit of push onto the front. However, Jet is coming right in, trying to stop it. This cart is stalled now at the bridge. Looking for their dive target. Who will it be? And the Admiral is already in, trying to beam out the Mercy, and it happens. Ooh. One down, green is down. It looks to be a favor by ITHF. However, Admiral gets traded back. Two now down, actually, for ITHF. And it looks like this monkey might go down as well, getting very low. Trying to keep them alive, actually being able to kill that Cassidy. Both teams absolutely scrambling. Very in favor of IT Chef because of these squads right now. The jet being pushed very far back, and this card is going to keep rolling. Jet has an ult coming up, though. Let's pop it. Yeah, will Jet pop this Orisa ult? Looks like card is going to get a little bit closer. Jet will stay alive with that golden form. Ult's a bit in favor of Wave Riders right now. 
Uh, Healer Shulk, he's got a Kyrial coming up here. Here it is. Oh, it's gonna get two in it, but both are gonna get out right away. Sharpentier gonna Look get the Brig, but Green's gonna get straight his back. He reset a 90 Two down for both teams. Let's see who's oh, able God. to take control. Black Icy would now oh, God, three. This Hodge is doing a lot of work on this point. Jet, however, gonna get the tank. Will someone touch? No one touched! Wow. Seemingly a excellent a break for Wave Riders. Score. That's a letter number right there, guys. I think... A little bit. It was close. It was a close fight. But I do think match. that um the healer's fault were going to pull out in that fight. So it was like a 50-50 letter number right there. <laughs> Love me some letter numbers. Well... Uh, it, it's always sad when you see a letter number. <laughs> ITHF just getting a little under first point. To take this map, Wave Riders need to push about 83, a little over 83 meters just in front of the gate to first point. So let's see what happens here. Actually going to stick on that Orisa. However, that Cassidy, or I'm sorry, that Lizel's going to swap over to that Soldier. Yeah, basically cap first point here and you win. First time we're seeing the old man tonight, I think. But. Oh, oh we got to pause. Pauses in. I think a uh, sub for one of the teams ended up dropping out. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. No Maybe one knows who it is. someone in queue? Yeah. Weird. Oh, if you get a quick look in here right now, you might see a little... Reinhardt comp holding this room right here. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Five, four, I like this. I like this. They're, I they're like what to they're doing. They're trying to take an extra fight here. Yeah, they're going to play close, yeah. so they get an extra fight. This is a great idea. They, they don't know yet, but oh, they know now. Oh, we need now. some Maysol strat. Yeah, it looks like the Maysol strat is in. The May is trying to do a lot of damage. This Farah is out and about, pushing a lot of... Uh, pushing Admiral back. Jadab actually also getting low. They're holding this room. They know this Farah is going to do a lot of damage, so they're trying to keep an eye on her. Admiral doing the job of making sure that the Farah can't just have free reign. It looks like they're pushing the cart a little bit past the room. They gotta the pass room. the they, doorway. That's you. Yeah, they gotta get out of this room. They need to get out of this room, and they're going right to the back. I'm going right to cart. They're going to take this first fight right onto the soldier. Just barely escaping this Farah. Pressuring Old Dog off. Getting very low, but it looks like Farah can't hit those shots. Both supports sustaining each other. It looks like the teams are going to go back into another brawl. And finally, one dies. Sharketeer going to go down. Mercy going to get that res, so she won't be gone for long. But we'll see what happens here. Ryan going right in. Admiral with another kill. Stalling Wave Rider's push right now. I see a big bap window coming up here, probably. All right. The lamp is forced out. Sharkatia breaks it. Admiral just trying their best to do as much as they can to keep the far off the team, but it looks like they're forced out. Finally going onto this Mercy now. Admiral, not to be understated, actually doing an incredible job of fending off this pharmacy by himself. Green gonna go down because of it. And as well as Sharkatia. This is everything that I see Jeff wanted and more. Our J-Dub wanted there. Try to pin the Arisa. Oh, a oh. great wall. That's a great. That's a great stagger for them. Hey, uh, Wave Riders, look at their alts. We got five. Yes. Five compared ult? to uh, four alts on the side of the Sea Healer's Vault. So who presses Q first here? I actually think that's who wins the fight. I'm thinking the May Freeze. May, May freeze? freeze? Which one? First. Oh, there's only one May. Well, oh, oh Mercy Valk is first. Valk is first. Green going out with the Valk. And there's the Barrage! Two are down. One from the Barrage, one from Lizzo, but Sharkatier gonna go down. Let's see if the rest comes in. And Jet is actually gonna take off J-Dub. And actually, finally, the they're game breaking plan, through. Game plan was to pop nothing on the side of blue. Because now it's they have ult advantage and they have a contest in overtime. Yeah, I didn't even I think about that. I like this position for ITHF. This, you know, still three ults for Wave Riders, not to be understated, but alt lead now in favor of ITHF, and they still have this fight. It's overtime, one fight and it's over. Well, the, who presses Q first still? There's the copy, the bar getting copy. Oh, the shatter! It's shattered! That's huge, but the, the illusion comes to block the result, and the, the Admiral doing insane things right now. It's keeping the team alive, and ITHF just takes it. Wow. What a shatter and what an echo copy.
That was incredible. That soldier ult was literally just canceled. There was nothing that could have happened there. What Ooh, the what a shot from Black Icy. Black Icy getting play of the game here on the Hanzo. Gonna actually get three, I believe, here. Two this headshots. Was a C9. Yeah, this unfortunately was a C9, so. But yeah, it went crazy. Well, 2 1, ITHF. We're going oh, back Rick. and forth. This is the kind of. After so many 3 0s, this is the kind of match we want. We want something back and forth like this. All right, well, done this. You got your wish. We're going to see some push. Yeah! Push and possibly another control map if we go game five. First push, is push of the season. <laughs> Very excited to see the push. I'm glad that we get to be here to share the first push of Golden Hammer Gaming's season five, so. I mean, we were seeing push after get map two ended, technically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. After that, uh, after that win for Wave Riders on Midtown, we were definitely gonna see a push. But now mm -hmm. it's gonna happen. I want Esperanza. Esperanza. What the? It's I'm trying to see one. some new Queen Street. Ew! Ew! No! 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 Wait, we're gonna what? take the we're gonna take the halftime here. Actually, I believe we have five minutes for a halftime. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna go right back into this match after this halftime, and see you all soon.
All right, welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, we are in for a great match right now. We are watching ITHF, it's the healer's fault, versus Wave Riders. ITHF just taking Dorado to go up 2 1. However, we have seen Wave, Wave Riders already down a map. Let's see if we can send it to a game five. And we're right on to Coliseo for map four. Uh, it was, it's the healer's fault up 2 1, right? Yes. Okay. So, oh, well, neither of us get our wish on the maps that we want. Instead, <laughs> we're going to Rome. Just like I love me some Midtown, I love me some Rome as well. All right. <laughs> what did they run here? First time round? we're actually Ooh. seeing push all season, I think, for season five. So it's very exciting. Both teams coming out with the Ramatra. We're seeing some familiar characters. ITHF running Jadeb on the Ramatra, running the Echo and Cassidy DPS combo while also Five, matching the Lucio four, Kiriko three, for supports. Two, As for Wave Riders, Lucio Kiriko as well for supports. Jet also matching the Ramatra, however the DPS are a little different. As we see Tracer and Sojourn, we're getting right into this now. Both teams racing right to the point. It looks like ITHF is going to get there a little bit faster. So Sojourn's a classic DPS combo. Yeah, um, both Echo, Ramatra. Admiral's Echo, looking great this game, by the way. Admiral has done an excellent job on the Echo. It's been absolutely dominant. It was dominant last game and already down, right as we say, a caster's curse. Two kills for the Sojourn. It looks like they're going to run right into them. Jet making it a third on that Ramatra and Kiriko just out of position. And it looks like that's a full, quick team light. It was a Rivers. dominant first fight right there. They almost have double ult charge on most Oh, so I'm to the Rhine and May yep. and Reaper. They're going full brawl into a rush comp. Big swap over already for ITHF, but we've seen them work this Rhine well already. This Reaper is going to do a lot of damage to Jet, and this May could be very important in keeping the team separated from each other. Already going to the point right now. Jadeb already on the Reinhardt, and Jet is matching it with the Nemesis Swarm, trying to get some punches in. They're going right on the Jet. The swings are in. Jadeb getting very, very low, but the character belt comes out to keep them alive. Ramatra is pulled down and going to keep the team there. Whoa. And the charge comes in. Jet is almost down and Jet gets killed. The charge doing a majority of that damage. Sharks here trying to get some damage back on the Tracer in the back lane. But it swaps right over to ITHF control. And we're moving the bot the other way. Admiral with this crazy wall that I just saw with that charge. Yeah. What do we got here? We got Beat and Rush coming up. Side of a, it's the healer's fault. Uh, we got, uh, there's gonna be Mirror Rush, probably. We got, a uh, Overclock. Ooh, oh, Overclock, not another, happening. Another down player. More Wave Riders, and there's the Katsuni Rush Jet trying to do some damage with the remote roll. Getting low, and goes down. Two now down, and four Wave Riders make it three, and ITHF is gonna get more control and take the lead. I get checkpoint off this. Push. It will be yeah. very close. Sharketeer might be able to get that contest on the checkpoint. Could prove very de or very important to the team. Hey, um, they now. only pop Kiriko all there. Oh, there's the overclock. Let's see what's happening here. Sharketeer actually going to go down. The Reaper chases her off, but it actually seems like this card is going to get very, very close. One down, and the May freezes out. It's getting everyone on the card. Jet actually jumps right into this. This is a very dangerous spot. Jet a little too aggressive there and getting caught out immediately. I'm surprised they didn't go for uh, some staggers there. I agree. I'm surprised that they they wanted this this checkpoint take. You know, it's nothing nothing wrong with doing so. Already three minutes into this map, we see the uh, team ITHF already taking over 75 meters on this push bot. And let's right, see we'll... what else come out. All right, motion's gonna carry called here. There it is. Yep. Oh, oh the big, big shatter slam to counter it. And the reaper ult as well. I don't know if the reaper ult was necessary, but it was definitely cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cool. I would agree with you on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta get to play the game. We love some cool. Anyways, ults now. I mean, Green's the only one with an ult. Jet will be close on that shatter, but. Let's see what happens. Darkness here actually swapping over to that Pharaoh. Worked well last map, will most likely work well this map. The team is forced into the side mini room. Oh, the shatter, there it is, and it's all of them. Got them all, all down. 
That's the fight right there. No way. Yep, that bot's going the straight other way. And a team kill for side of red there with Jet's big shatter. All right, they got beat and uh, dragon coming up here. That's about it. And then we got two sport alts on the side yep. of. Uh, uh, I can't think I of it now. <laughs> the Hanzo dragon. Oh, what a down dragon! Got the Kiri. Starting here, also down the beat finally out. For ITHF, and then it looks like they're gonna use take advantage of it and take down uh, DPS on Wave Riders. The charge comes in. The Kiriko Bell actually does a great job to make sure Jet doesn't take any damage. Jade up getting very low. Jet stuck in that corner from the Maywall. Cooldown's low. This old dog does have the Kitsune Rush, but they aren't there right now. Finally, TP back, and let's see if they take advantage of that as they're now just holding. There it is. They shatter. They're gonna shatter here. Oh. The Lucio goes down for IT Jeff. It's winnable. We there it is. Oh, we got three down. And three. It's all of them. They're white. Sharkets here just trying their best. But that Shatter Freeze is deadly. But was it an overcommitment? Very possibly. We'll find out. Right here. Um, we got Shatter Rush again on the other side. Uh, yeah. compared to no ults, so they only need to rush here. You don't need to shatter. Ooh, the Maywall is out, but it's not going to do much. Bot is now pushing the other way, and it looks like ITHF is going to take That's the fight good. on the ramp here. Now you have Let's to shatter. Jet actually on the flank, and the there shatter's it out. It's four. It's the entire team. They're wiped. j -Dub is trying to hold control. That's a team kill for Wave Riders. Hey, it's 11.59 right now for both Cassidy's. Getting close. I think it's more about 11:30. About 11:30 for one and 11:59 <laughs> for the other. All right, this checkpoint is gonna mean ITHF gets a little bit of a closer spawn. They're already here to contest the card. However, the checkpoint is now gone. Let's see what happens here. Jet looking to get some fire strike damage. A little bit of a lead for Jade up on the Reinhardt Shatter, but Sharketeer does have the high noon up. A major player trying to get to 11.59. There it is. They're both. It's high noon for both Cassidy. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the wall. Maywell trying to split, but not doing much. And the Kitsune Rush is matched by this old dog. Both high noons out. And the, the all both, both DPS ults are doing a lot of damage, but it looks like it's favored. Wave Riders oh right now. Gosh. Three make it four down. Four ITHF. Just the Kiri? Are just gonna finish that Kiri. They're finally getting to this bot past this point. They only did that at the beginning of the match. We got Shatters and Beats mirroring each other. Um, but the rush is gonna be the difference here. But the Mayfreeze possibly to counter the rush. Yeah, Admiral has been great on placing those Mayfreezes. Let's see how they make use of it. The team is already back to contest. Looks like they're gonna go down the ramp. Jade up already going in right to the point. Inject getting forced out very hard. Jade up gunning for the back line. Lysol in a great spot. Already getting oh, to the high ground. In their playground as they're just doing a lot of damage. Three now down. Four wave riders. And let's see. Jade up just gonna miss the charge. It looks like another team kill. Four wave riders. They didn't have to pop anything there. It's the same same mirror right now. Only thing, the two DPS ults coming up uh, are a lot closer than the, the Rush and the, the Kree ult. Yeah, let's see what happens here. They're gonna get the checkpoint. Uh, Wave Rat is now having that closer spawn. Three ults, here comes the May Freeze. It's way in the back, actually probably only going to catch Jet. But Jet gets oh, bell right out. Jet is out of that May Freeze and the B comes out. Lizel's gonna get caught out on the side. Let's see if this can be rushed. Oh, nice the block. Shatter's blocked. And the, sh the Shatter difference, but the charge shades this old dog not for long as they're just melting the team. Jet up fighting back and forth with Jet, trying to get this Kiriko. Almost going to get it, but it's now just the Lucio for ITHF, and they're gonna keep pushing this bot. I don't know if they have spawns fast enough, though. Yeah, this is very dangerous territory to... for Wave Riders. They have to get back to this point, however, it is Lucio. Green will not take long to get back. Already actually almost there with a, some great wall riding ability. Admiral back on the far off. Yep, Admiral going to what they do best, seeing this far off, potentially trying to contest this Hanzo, but Charcuteer will do a lot of damage. Jade of already in actually going Ooh, great for the out. Cassidy, yeah, just swung on in dead. That far away high above the 
guy trying for some boots and actually getting the Hanzo. Both grinds on the ground and the bell comes out in favor of J-Dub, keeping them alive. And it looks like ITHF are just going to take it. Jet electing to jump right off the cliff. They got fast spawns here though. So we're going to have a good test of the middle. Um, Looking at two ults, like Dragon and Hainu. They got the DPS ults up. So only just the DPS ult. They have to charge Rush here to uh, have the advantage in this fight. I would say. Yeah, I mean, let's see what happens here. A major player does have the high noon actually start here. Is use it first. Getting very oh, low. Cool. And the Hanzo Dragon is splitting that back line over there. And it looks like Jet is going to take advantage and push a little bit up. Two now down, for, or one now down for each team. Let's see what team is able to make use of that death. However, Shark is here. Not able to contest that far, but far is not there, there anymore. J Dub already out has the Shatter. Four ults on. And it's almost five now. The continuing rush out for motion first. Let's see how ITHF responds. They have the ults, but they just aren't pushing in. They're waiting patiently. They're being passive. Ten seconds left. They want to win full out of here. They know they have the lead on the bot. And there's the shadow. Humongous, but it's the barrage as well. Two now down. Four. Wave Riders, and it looks like it's just gonna be a point win for ITHF. Is this it? Is this the match? The Lucio was just trying, and this is it. That's, That's it. All. That is the end. ITHF are going to take what a game. the match 3 1. Push. We love our push, and it didn't disappoint. Jet here with the play of the game on the Reinhardt. Oh. Shatter impact. Well, you know, back and forth a bit there. We thought we were maybe going to go to a map five, seeing Wave Riders push a little bit closer, but it looks like ITHF just pulled out. And I got an idea for my player of the match. Do you got yours, Dundas? What, Admiral? I'm thinking Admiral. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would agree. I would agree. Admiral was going crazy. I mean, J-Dub was also going crazy and just, like, not dying, like, when he should have. But, uh, that might be... <laughs> you want to interview um, Admiral, Chris? Could we potentially... I'd be down for an interview if Admiral's down. All right. Admiral we'll, going to uh, get that golden hammer. We'll get Admiral in here. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, don't go anywhere. We have an interview right now. Welcome, Admiral. <laughs> Hello. Congratulations on the win. We love to see the first three won. However, you yeah, guys seem was, to take over. That was that was a game. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. I will not lie. They played well. So the they first thing to, I kind uh, of wanted to uh, wanted to ask you is like before this match, what do you think? What were you guys talking about in call? What were you prepping for overall? Yeah, what was your game plan basically? Um, going into the match, we expected to play a lot of Brawl, um, Brawl on Brawl, uh, so that was pretty much the plan. We did have to sort of shift things up because it wasn't working too well at the beginning, especially Midtown. Midtown was a struggle. Mm. Um, the Widow kind of, kind of rolled us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Midtown being the only map you guys dropped, however, all maps were pretty close, but honestly, oh, yeah. it seemed like that... Fara really brought it out like what is when obviously having a lot of experience on Fara, what do you kind of look for when you see either the echo trying to contest you or even that cassie trying to contest you oh uh, when i was on Farah on the fourth map just in general on on Farah. uh I, I i kind of feed i won't lie but i do try to stay alive so i just try to play a little passive mm-hmm uh, okay. Because Echo will roll you. I know this because I play a lot of Echo. When I see a Pharah, that's what I go. Oh, interesting. Um, how do you feel about your May? I thought your May alts were like right at the beginning of the fight, perfect. Charge some ult after you popped your May alt. Yeah. You big um, May alts. Yeah, I just try to make sure that if it doesn't catch people out, it just zones as many people as I possibly can. Uh, that's generally what I use it for. If it gets somebody, great, but I'm just trying to make some space. Yeah, you also had that 4K on Midtown with May. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yell what that for was that? that? 
<laughs> yell I got yelled at for that one. I was, I was like, play with your Reinhardt. Play with your Reinhardt. I'm like, I'm going to blizzard in the small room. And uh, yeah, I, I got I got yelled at by my coach after that one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of saw you in there. and I was also feeling a little bit worried about it. But I mean, you got you got a lot of damage in there and then got a lot of kills. So my, my Lucio was screaming at me. He said, come on, we're going to kill the Ram. I'm like, OK. okay. Um, Dunnis, do you have any more questions for Admiral here? Uh, that's all I had was the May ult in on Midtown. Cool. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Admiral, so much for joining us. Congratulations on the win, and uh, yes, good you. luck in next week. And congrats thank on you. player of the match. <laughs> yes, my first time. I went all last season, never got it. It was very sad, so I'm happy. <laughs> Glad we could reward it congrats. to you. <laughs> What's up, Steve? All right, I think with that... Oh, I think with that interview done, that's pretty much just going to wrap up the stream for tonight. Um, I have been Potates, your play-by-play -play commentator, as well as Dundas here. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Um, hope to see you soon uh, if we do this again. And thank uh, you again. big, big thank you to uh, Potates and Dundas again for casting tonight. And uh, just a heads up that uh, our next casted match will be... Wednesday, February 22nd at 10 p.m. Eastern, and that'll be uh, Peak Cheese against 07 Plasma again. So we hope to see you all then. And uh, again, guys, thank you very much. Great job. Yeah, no problem. Good night, everyone. Say good night. Bye.